it, it's slightly different. They they have the option of deciding how close they are going to be. So if there is something terrifying, it will still stand there and shake and have its tail tucked between its legs. Yeah, I mean, I'll take defend because defend's not bad. Attack, of course, you have to have an attack. Uh, you have to have, to have attack twice because of friendly aberrations. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Attack, attack is weird. So, attack normally only works on humanoids, monstrous humanoids, giants, and other animals. Teaching attack to attack all creatures counts as two tricks. Oh, it takes two tricks to get it to fight a dragon. Yes. Well, that's not how the horses work in Skyrim. That is not how the horses work in Skyrim. I have seen Shadow Fang fucking kill a dragon by himself. Shadow Fang wants what Shadow Fang wants. And what's, it, it, and what's funny? is it will run away from uh, the, the lion things. But it'll kill a dragon. The weirdness of, of, uh, of Bethesda products. We're live now, by the way. We're live. Yay. Hi, Twitch. Hi, Twitch. Do you still feel violated? I mean an adult. It's Are my you? first time. Uh, just... <laughs> Alright, so we have a few changes this week. Uh, we first of all we finished book one. Congratulations, guys! Woo! Yay. The I'm other excited. news is that for the moment Stripe is no longer able to join us for a few weeks of sessions. Uh, he may rejoin us in the future. Uh, in his replacement, we have something that the GCP has never had on any podcast. Boobs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm sure some of those guys have boobs. <laughs> uh, what, what we're referring to in a completely uh, sensitive and not at all misogynistic way is the fact that we now have a girl in the group. Yay! Please to be introducing yourself. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> it, you have to. It is a requirement. Uh, oh. Hex, hex is just Hex. Yeah. She... She is an AI built by Google to play. No, no, that, that's not this. <laughs> no, no, definitely not an AI by Google. She, she's, she sounds too human. Aw, sure. Thank also, you. I'm not sure of her evil level, so we can't declare her Google. Wow, Google's not. Okay. <laughs> I know. Well, it's a joke. Actually, Google has uh, rescinded their old motto of "Don't be evil." That's no longer. An that's because that's Google is now the G letter in Alphabet. Which, by the way, owns Boston Dynamics and the horror robotic things that they are building. In any the case, uh, because of that, there's going to be a few party changes. We're losing a Warlord. We are gaining... War Priestess. War Priestess, sorry. Yeah, I had enough. a long day today. No, you calling her a Warlord is racist. She's half work. <laughs> Anyway, we will be replacing them before long. Uh, but let's get with what happens after you kill the Tatterman. <clears throat> well, the first thing is, you killed all the Anirogens, too. So it actually does not take long for the yellow fog surrounding the asylum to fade away. And there was much rejoicing. Uh, in fact, everyone was extremely happy about it. Uh, people are reunited. Uh, all of, you guys so did good. a really good job. I think you killed every ghoul in the place and every doppelganger that you know about. Well, uh, that we know about. Oh, no. No, no. There's an easy way to identify doppelgangers. You take the elven arcanist and put them in front of, of him. <laughs> If they stab him, they're a doppelganger. <laughs> I opened up the chat and just had echoes. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, yeah. Pop out Twitch chat so I can close Twitch chat, because I don't want to see this. Okay, we're good. Hello, Todd, our most dedicated fan. True facts. True facts, Todd. And Todd, I think, is the only one who's been here for every session. Every session. Except for one. No, I, th I think it's been every session. Okay, well, if that's the case, that's the case. I need a hat that says Todd loves me. 
Do you believe in Todd? <laughs> what would Todd do? <laughs> <laughs> Watch that Pathfinder games. <laughs> so, uh, um, God. Uh, well, have you read Dogbert? Oh, sorry, uh, Dilbert. Oh. It's a section involving Dogbert. <laughs> um, <laughs> Todd says, I feel like I've been here more regularly than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Alright, so you guys can quickly secure a boat back to Thrushmore. And to be fair, everyone else is going with you because mm-hmm. nobody wants to stay on Briarstone Island. Oh, well, no. the, all technical, the asylum does need to be temporarily shut down, but where do all the crazy people go? Uh, that's actually a good question for Winter, who is on the first boat with you guys. Yeah, so uh, where are all the crazy people going that can't be sociable? Uh, she says, well, we'll probably take them to the sleepless building uh, to start with, in order to figure out what to do with them. The Sleepless Agency is a... not exactly a police force in Thrushmore, but it is partly their job to help keep the peace. If, if you like, you can accompany me there. I have some people I need to meet uh, from the Inquisition. Inquisition? I'm not familiar with this word. Well, it's the group I came here with. We were investigating the Count. Do you recall what I told you? Uh, yeah, you, you were investigating the Count. Um, so there is no police force for this entire metropolitan city? Well, no, there are inns. Uh, no, police force. <laughs> no, there there are guards. That's not a police force. But that's I not understand. a police force. That's a, let's not let a riot start, folks. And soldiers, you know, I mean, it's it's a county. But you're familiar with Ustalab, aren't you? It's all individual counties and duchies. Uh, I, this sounds too political. I want to go to a museum where I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> yes, Aloe belongs in a museum. Again, Racism. I'm just saying, there's, there's a lot of you say, things. You, you think you're going to have a fun time going over into the city and not get, hey, there, or old fart, or, hey, pointy ears, come over here. I got a cure for your, your gray hair. Uh... Well, you know, the, the if you guys like, choose not to go in winter, there are a lot of other places in town that you could visit. I mean... Also, when you land on the island, uh, you see not a familiar face or pair of faces. You don't see a pair of familiar faces. What you see is a pair of familiar descriptions. Which is to say that two of the other people who were supposedly left with you at the asylum are here on the shore for some reason or another. They're good at swimming. <laughs> Perhaps they escaped earlier. Uh, notice them, Vasir would take out the uh, paperwork that we have on our group and go through it. Yeah. And uh, hand, it, hand it around. Uh, well, they identify so- the bestial-looking fellow as Alrakdan. And the... Uh, woman with the sword at her side as Vala. Of course, there's no other information about them. Oh. So, do you know who we are? Or who you are? I I, I don't know who anyone is. That seems to be par for the course. We should probably introduce characters at this point since we've segued. Yeah, that it. would be a good time for that. I am Magnus, formerly known as Allo. I have gotten rid of that racist name. I am a, uh, what was he called? The Soul Bolt. I also form armor out of mine. He, Allo is a, uh, is a half orc, by the way. Mm. Um, I'm Dwayne, a human gunslinger, and I put like I put holes in fleshy meat bags. 
I'm confused. Did you have to tell me that you were a human? I can plainly see it. <laughs> it's uh, better to be precise in our situation. There was a doppelganger problem. That there was a doppelganger problem. Seriously. Uh, right now, I'm playing uh, two characters. The uh, character on the boat is Vasir, a elven uh, elderly arcanist. Um, and the new person that is on the shore is Arakdan and his animal companion, uh, Gulfram. Um, Vasir is a more kind of generic wizard, uh, the elderly like Gandalf, elven type. Um, Arakdan is a wild child human, um, basically with like war paint and scars all over his body. Um, alongside a uh, Belkson war cap, which also shares much of the same mar markings of war paint all over it. Uh, Vasir will be leaving the party to make room for our uh, new person taking over the arcane slot. Hi. Well, I will tell you that Vasir will be going to the. Uh... Hang on, I have the name of it here. Uh, the old the, uh, uh, is trying to kill himself? No. <laughs> Seriously! Can I help you, miss? Ow, my guts! I mean, I just wanted to help you, miss. Then die! I mean, look, they... Not once, not twice, three times. <laughs> Every ah, the the Sinkomakti school in Rosenport. It's actually not here in Thrushmore. Oh, he's going to travel a little bit then. Yeah. He yeah, says he wants to learn to more about what's happening. Yeah, so we need to do yeah, more we'll research. To find out if this is there, the one where you're not. There is a name that I have to look up. And yeah, I'll that's true. You do have to go look up that name. I, uh, I'll meet up back with you all soon. I will find out what I can. And... Lucier, re remember, the unicorn isn't here either. I swear to you that I saw There's a unicorn. no unicorn! There are no tracks of unicorn and they don't fly! Uh... <sighs> Someday. Someday you will find that unicorn. Maybe it'll be with me. But, alas, today I, I need to go. There's knowledge to be found out about who and what we a, are. I think it was a tentacle beast shaped like a Uh. Enjoy your stay Enjoy in the stay city, in the my city. friends. We'll send word if we find anything interesting. Good, good. I shall expect yeah, to hear okay. from you soon. Interesting seems to follow us around. Oop. Nez <laughs> says that she is going to help with the survivors. And she wanders off. So that's a thing that happens. <laughs> Leaving the party with who's left? Everyone else. Everyone else. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you guys going to do? Well, there was that count to see. You could uh, inquire after the count. What name did he go by? Count Lowell? Lowell? Lowell's. Hazerton Lowell. L O W L S. Wait, it's quite literally L. Okay, but it wasn't L O L. No, L O W. L O W L S. Okay, let let's go find him. Uh, we should probably uh, sell our salvage and. Uh, Get more appropriate attire than standing around in a. Ah, uh, yes. Kilt. I assume the first thing you guys are going to do is shop. Yeah. Because so I'm let's, a let's go through a the things that I'm you guys sure. bought. <laughs> well, I bought I, I bought some equipment. I I bought some equipment to buy my to make myself a new gun, which basically I made a double barrel pistol and got an enchanted plus one. All right, how long oh. is that going to take you? A day. Yeah, it doesn't take long for gunslingers. All right, well, we'll go ahead and let you guys rest for a day. I think that's totally <laughs> reasonable. 
It, 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 it takes me a day to make that gun. Quite literally less than. And um, I also bought a cloak of resistance, a, a mithril chain shirt, as well as some um, two fun alchemical items. Pellet bombs. Because who doesn't like grenades? The people that you're throwing. Hey, he's a gunslinger. He's got high decks. It's a perfectly reasonable thing to get. True yeah. facts. And I also like I bought five sil like I bought five with uh, silver pellets and five with cold iron pellets. So, just in case. <laughs> Sweet fire! Throw a bomb at it. Yeah, I mean, it, but literally, throw a silver bomb at it. It does piercing, blunt, and fire. Yeah. All right, that takes care of our gunslinger. What did our soul blade buy? Uh, soul bolt. I don't make stabby things unless I throw them. Uh, I will get a uh, enchanted buckler because uh, my standard buckler is not buckler enough. I also bought. Let's get down to the new stuff. Uh, got some more acid flasks because I used mine. I got a belt that makes me flip around very well. More tumbling. Uh, when tumbling around enemies, I bought an adamantine nail, referred to as a stubborn nail. It is good for keeping things shut. It's a one-use item. Uh, soul soap, because I feel like I need a bath. <laughs> uh, some scrolls to fix people when they get sick. Uh, a couple of potions to change my size. Some gloves that you put vials inside of, and the vials can have various things. They're designed primarily for somebody with poison use, but the standard is uh, referred to as glass dust. It's a mineral dust, and when you hit somebody with it, they need to make a fortitude save or be blinded for one round, because you popped a bunch of, basically, sand in their eyes. Uh, some anti-plague. <laughs> uh... A really cool item called a fungal stun vial. We'll find out what that does later when I throw it at someone. Oh, um, let's see. That was... Oh, and one last item. Uh, a variant of the armored kilt that Ice Pick approved for me. Uh, it's referred to as Four Mirrors Armor. If you're familiar with Indian armor or uh, Persian armor, uh, basically it's a set of four plates, a bit two lo uh, two larger ones and two uh, kind of rectangular ones that go around the belly area. But it pretty much functions exactly like a, an armored kilt. It just looks different. Also, uh, my armor got better when I leveled, so it doesn't. I actually don't appear to be wearing anything other than this crappy armored kilt material and a buckler. So, to I be look clear, more that, like you're not getting you're not an armor getting... bonus from both your kilt and your mage armor, effectively, right? It's not mage armor. It's armor armor. Right, but I'm saying they're both armor bonuses, so they don't stack, right? It functions as an armored kilt, which does armor stack. Armor kilt does like stack, armor. specifically. It, okay. Alright, let me put it this way. I count as not being armored with my current light armor, so armored kilt does actually function as an armor at that point. And will stack with light or no armor. If I pop on my medium armor... It raises the type. What armor kilt does is it raises the the uh, the type of armor by one category. So when I use my medium armor, I count as being in heavy armor. So reduced speed, reduced running. So there is a penalty for, for using that, and it gives me no benefit on my uh, my heaviest armor that I can take now. In fact, it's better for me to stay in medium at this point. All right, so noted. I was just checking up. Uh, yeah, and uh, is there anything special we need to know about the equipment of our newbies? Uh, I have cat. Cat has armadillo plating instead of fur. That's about it. Um, I don't think that's a cat. <laughs> I have a really nice space. Do you have a magic helmet, too? I wish. <laughs> okay, we have a goal for your character now. No, my goal is wings. Well, yeah, of course. That makes it easier to kill the rabbit. What? 
Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the spirit magic helmet. That's a deep cut, deep cut. boys That's... and girls. <laughs> wow. That's a reference. It is one of the most famous Looney Tunes episodes of all time and one of their best. All right, Max, on your stats. Yeah, I should. Health actually. and expendables and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I, should, I should put health in since I haven't done that yet. Um, you should do that. Since, um, since I've gone shopping, can I change my icon? Do you need to change your icon? I was running around in a, a loincloth and a belt. Feel free to change your icon if you want to change your icon. Okay. Now, to be fair, I'm not getting rid of this particular icon. I'm just upgrading to the... Uh, just upgrading icons, you know. I'm upgrading to a more civilized icon. <laughs> I'm waiting. I, I'm waiting for it to upload. It's so slow! Yeah, Google... Google, um... No, no, are you using it through, uh, through Link, or are you using it through, uh, you download hey. the image and... I have the image downloaded. I'm uploading it. Oh, okay. Not on my end. It's their end going through and making sure that I didn't put a virus on them or something. I don't know. Wesley Webbits. There it is. Where do you go? Okay. Why can I not drag over? Oh, no. I need to save changes first. That's why. Oh, we're going into the slow again. Uh, the okay, hell is going on here? Just because I can look, how much how much HP did I upgrade from playing the squishy elf? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm huge. Can you reset oh, this ice pick? <laughs> I can't fix it because my roll 20 is lagging like garbage. Uh, I am Mork, god of orcs. Get more DACA. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's never enough. I didn't mean to make it gigantic. That um, explains why it took forever to upload. Really, with with this being more Victorian setting, I figured I should have appropriate clothing. It's not good appropriate clothing, but it's it's better than what like most common people wear, and it is obviously not a. Uh... <laughs> I still think it's funny that the things I think. Okay. I uh, recreated your icon out there, so I don't know where you are. Uh, I was at the last location the party was. Ah, that's the problem. Me too. Yeah, once you shrink it yeah, we're down... All, we're all at the last, yeah. Yeah, once you shrink it down... There you go. I never shrunk it down, I just recreated it on this page. You can recreate your uh, blue bar. Fully expect totally. Dwayne to do the same. Um, I I gotta fix up my health, don't I? Yep. Yeah. Then you're at max grid again. All right, I need to take about five to ten seconds to uh, take care of my dog. So give me a second here. No, no, he was already out. He's lying to you. Well, he's lying very convincingly. It just wants to do it because you're home. I mean, he's already been bad, bad, never mind. I'm uh, not taking that low hanging. Oh no, I know what it is. He wants to eat the rest of better his food. <laughs> and now he's just lying. Jack, Jack. So I guess I'll just tag along for today. Uh, he he, he thinks he's pulled room. off. It. You shouldn't reward that behavior, Dallas. You should have told him, I know you've been out, and then just ignored him afterwards. He would understand. I really don't think he would. No, he would. He's As not a dumb dog. He's just really lazy. If if you take your druid levels and increase your animal companions hit die, eventually you can give it intelligence and make it a super smart dog. Are, are we talking like 
the, the Sputnik dog on uh, on uh, at nowhere instead of a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Or are we just talking like human intelligence dog? Hey, Roswell uh, has been a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy in the past. I know he's awesome. <laughs> he's way better than Lockjaw. Lockjaw's retarded. <laughs> Take him exactly the same spot. Any dog can normally find that by just smelling it. Him? It's like, yeah, it, it's on that island over there. What the fuck ever. It's there. Sort of. What you are forgetting is that Cosmo is Soviet dog. Oh. It's Soviet dog. <laughs> oh. Cosmo knows where Putin keeps pee pee thing. You do not want to pee By this way, uh, by the way, um, the, um, Gozer, you mentioned uh, something about, like, a belt for me. Oh yeah, there. I think it was underneath. Uh, I'm not sure if it was in a standard equipment, um, or if it was in the uh, the wondrous items. I think it's in wondrous items. What belt? There was a belt that was good for gunslingers. I remember seeing. I don't remember what it's called. It was cheap though. Let me just go to wondrous items. If magic items will open for me, there. Thank you, magic items. Wondrous items. The things that people actually care about. Oh, no, no, don't. All right. Tum there we are. Yo, if it's a belt, shouldn't it be in waste slot items? Yeah. Beneficial bandolier. It has slots for 200 rounds of ammunition. Pellets and black powder are kept in tiny individual pouches and bullets in small loops. I will give you a link. I got it. Um, that's not yeah. bad. Yeah. As a swift action, you can command a single round to teleport into the firearm type that you are wielding. <laughs> so, if you get a discharge, if you get a, if you get a, a, a bad shot and then you have to clear it, you can then reload. It's quite literally that weird anime where the chick keeps the uh, the extra bullets to reload her six shooter in all of her crevices, just so that you can watch them. So, you gotta be a little more specific. Like, you gotta be a little more specific on the anime. <laughs> um, it was in an AMV hell. I've never seen the anime. It was hilarious, and that's all I can remember about it. Um, I try like so. Wait, does this mean that basically, if it's in this bandolier, I can just basically go? Hey, get him my gun! Yes. As a swift action, it, is it once per day or is it all the time? It doesn't say once per day. As a swift action, just, just get in my gun. Right. It, this is a belt of reloading. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's whenever you need it to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just realized something. That means that he can. Well, you can't take two attack actions, though. Here's the thing. Swift actions do a lot of things for gunslingers. Yeah. That's, yeah, I know. That's painful. So, uh, I, I, no, I, I, it, actually, it'll still no, I, so, Like, I, If you I, want to I, sacrifice I, some of the other things you can do as a gunslinger, yeah, you can use it to reload. Well, no, here's a good point for it. If people know what a gunslinger does pretty much as an enemy, he fires... And then they don't see him go to reload, and then he suddenly fires again from the same pistol. That would be I unexpected. Like, I actually, there's another thing. With a double-barreled pistol, I can fire twice at a negative four. No, no, it says a single round. Yeah. Of ammunition. No, oh, no, no, no. You I can fire you? both barrels in a single round without a negative four. No, no, no. no. It, by round, it means a single piece of ammunition. It only refills one of your barrels. Yeah, but I, I can still, like, all of a sudden it's like, hey, I got one more shot. <laughs> Correct. But you only you one your barrel. attack action that round. No, 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 I'm trying to think about my double barreled pistol itself. I can, like, it's yeah, a. Yeah, that I, thing I can Grant fire... used, like, three times and then never used again. Yeah. The, like, well, no, no the double... my point is, is that if you. An attack action will let you attack with both of those, but. That's your standard action. You know, have a move action and a swift action. I know, but it's like you can't like attack again. You could get one of them reloaded though as a swift action that way. I, like I was like I, like I was trying to say, Gozer. Like I can 
I, I can fire both barrels off in a single round, but because and then of, use your action, your, both of your other actions to reload both barrels. Oh no, yeah, I, no, I use my I use one swift action that same turn to reload one, and then I use my swift action the next turn to reload the other. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, yeah, oh, about so that. Like, yeah, yeah, he can keep he can keep constant fire while still moving. Yep, that's fucking cool. If yes. he has this stuff. Yes, it's only a thousand GP. Yeah, it's 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 dirt cheap for. It requires the a is, Does he have a thousand gold left? Oh, not after buying the like, not after buying the grenades. Oh, put the grenades, put the grenades away. Get your better belt. I told you that yeah. you need a belt. <laughs> I was right. I remember it being good, not awesome. It is actually awesome. As, and as soon as, as a gunslinger like, has a thousand GP, buy. Well, actually, I just thought of, like, like, I just thought of it. Oh. Then I don't need rapid reload. No, you need rapid reload still. You still need rapid reload. You can never have enough bullets in your gun, okay? Quite literally, you can keep adding more barrels, technically, because they went up to, like, eight barrels for pepper boxes. So, yeah. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. So. Okay. The great, like, <laughs> what they did! <laughs> Okay, uh, so. there's pictures, and it doesn't mean necessarily the things were useful, but they certainly they certainly exist. Oh no, they were useful. They were used for exactly this sort of thing for firing repeatedly. Now they didn't have magic items and gunslinger. Oh, yep, loaded instantly. But with that, it turns them into uh, a reasonable shot. Oh, sorry. And it, like, and yeah, basically, this that like, I left on. my bad. This also kind of makes me a scary freaking. Threat on the field. Because you weren't before. Anyway, what would you guys <laughs> like to do? There's an awful lot of options available to you. Okay, I'll put the, like, you know what? I won't use, I'll keep the attacks so, there for later, but for now, well, I'll just say. knows who we are. By the way, Jack's back. Eat your food. You, uh. Eat your food, Jack. Yeah, Arakan will be like. He's gonna eat his food. Okay. okay. Very cautious of these new people. Like, there's this like slight tinge of familiarity. Well, let me let me tell you. Head. Let me tell you the things you've noticed about town in the day that you were doing shopping and things like that. Uh, the first thing you notice is, is that uh, the town is. A lot of people are looking at you very suspiciously. But you kind of notice, give me a sense motive, everybody. Uh, oh. Give me one second. I'm just going to... Skill? Uh, hang on. You want skill? I want you guys to roll you, some dice. You want, you want some fuck? Because I only have wisdom, dude. And I yeah, Magnus has no idea what's going on. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I am aloe now. I've accepted it. Oh, he's, he, he's readopted <laughs> his slave name. No, 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 I am a gentleman, and you will treat me as such. Okay. Which, um, I think we, like, I think me and, uh, I, Ada, I, 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 I would still go. like to get a little from Vala, but, yeah, you guys did well enough. Um, you, uh, there's several icons that don't have any bars visible. In fact, uh, there's multiple of bars. Oh, I forgot to activate the bars. Sorry, hang on. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Yeah, activate um, the health bars and activate the name tags, please, so we know who is who. I know this is a Valkyrie, but I'm not sure exactly it's Vel. Vala. Vala. And the other guy is, I don't know, he's pretending to be He-Man, Master of the Universe. <laughs> you know, I didn't see it before. It's <laughs> <laughs> got a battle cat. Look, there's armor on. Wait, that's... A... <laughs> What's wrong with your cat? Yeah, I didn't see it before, but yeah, you're He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nope. Well, I gotta find a picture of He-Man now. We're, we're no, no, your picture is good. That's not even what I'm questioning. Uh, <laughs> uh, with know. those, with those unspotted checks, you can kind of tell that they're look. A lot of people are looking suspiciously at everybody, uh, but it's especially narrow to you. Oh, are Rotten used to this? This is this is normal when he comes into civilization. It's weird for him. I'm a half orc who is now wearing a top hat and a monocle. If they were not looking at me, I would be more <laughs> concerned. 
It is nothing. Good day. That the big green guy that's next to Rockton, I'm gonna sniff his butt. Just to make sure he's he's okay. Sounds productive. Uh, when you go down like that, uh, uh, yeah, he just doesn't even notice. <laughs> I, I do not have spot. Uh, Actually, I, I think I do. But there's it, also <laughs> people talking about the weather are angry about the fact that it's just been foggy and cloudy for days. Um, aren't we on an island that basically is heated by the ocean? Uh, we're off the island right now. We're back on the mainland of Ustalov, but... How big is this mainland? Is it proper mainland? Well, uh, I will get you the map of Ustalov, but yeah, it's prop. We're, we're basically back on the continent of Yeah. We're like, well, what happens... Let me put it this way. Put it this way. Um, Briarstone Island is an island in a river. Yep. Oh! Alright. Well, uh, they're still next to a river. What time of year is it, anyway? Is it unseasonable to have fog? That's my question. My character doesn't know. He'll just ask when he hears it mentioned. Uh, okay, so here's something that happens uh, to you when you try to get lodging. There's only one inn. In Thrushmore. It's a relatively small There's place. The, the Slav map is in the uh, discussion. Yeah. Uh, and there's only one official inn, really, uh, which is called the Silver Wagon. Um, and uh, you know how in a Western, you walk somebody walks into the saloon and everything stops like there's a record Everyone scratch? <laughs> that 100% happens when you walk into there. There's no record scratch. The guy on the piano just stops playing. Mm. And my answer as we walk in is, gentlemen, ladies, hip hat, head towards bar. <laughs> what the hell's gotten into you, says the barkeep. He's just a little too um, regal for, like, he's a little more regal than he Regal? Is. No, what, what are you trying to, I am not a noble. Jeez. Can't you, sure be are, you sure are acting different than you were before. How was I acting before? Because that's something I don't know, more like a half orc. That's very racist. He shrugs. Well, at least you realize it. It's not your race, but I can't let you stay here. Why? Well, what? it was on account of that bar fight. And the huge tab you ran up. Oh, how much is the tab? 39 gold. I don't think you have enough alcohol in this establishment to actually charge 39 points. It was one hell of a tab. Mm -hmm. uh, do I, do I recognize his smell? Are you, this, will be, this will be a question. Charging for damages as well without having any receipts to prove that that's the case. But, and also because if you're trying to take I, I advantage of my amnesia currently, you might have to charge even more to the same account because the bar might not survive my argument. Amnesia, huh? Hmm. Well, you, did you pay your tab at least? What, me? Yeah. I'm not going to pay a 39 gold piece tab. I could buy the bar for 39 gold. He shrugs. <laughs> Unless you pay your tab, no. you're not staying here. No, he... No, that, that was out of character, Dallas. 39 gold, quite literally, you can buy a business for 39 gold. Yeah, and that was your tab. Then how has he rebuilt this whole place? That's my question. It was a, well, the, it was a, well, you haven't asked about the nature of the tab. I asked him for receipts for it. Show me how you get to 39 gold. There's I don't have receipts going back for four years, ass champ. Wait. Why were you still giving me credit for four years to get up to that point? <laughs> you worked for the Maybe. Count. I worked for the Count. I told you guys we should go see the Count. Look, look, okay. Everybody's kind of on edge. Wait, you were floating for four years a multi-gold piece tab. Yeah. I don't think your business deserves to survive. 
Okay, if you're going to be insulting. I literally everybody who's leaving the country or just sat, telling you to go pound sand. I don't remember doing that, which is the truth. I don't. Doesn't matter if you remember it or not. The tab's there. Where's the proof that I'm the same person that you're claiming owes you the money? You are the... Okay, you may have changed your clothes, but I know who you are. <laughs> Yeah, but where are the? Where is the signature proving that I am the same person? Well, that that is who who was signing for those drinks. He pulls out a ledger. Excellent. There I'm you are. I met. Wait, 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 Dallas, Dallas. I'm going to have him flip through every page slowly. I'm going to use auto hypnosis to memorize his ledger. <laughs> If you're gonna get go, okay, listen. You're going. No, no, to, no, no. You don't understand, Dallas. I am well aware of what auto hypnosis is. It's a big ledger. Are you gonna sit here for three hours? <laughs> I'm going to insist that you go through every single one to account for the whole thing, so I can arrange to make payments. Just I'm gonna fall asleep look on the floor. You bought all those clothes. Clearly, you came into some money. Give me thirty gold. We'll call it even, and you can get out of my face. So does his tab mean I can no, get a drink? No, I'm going to. I want to go through to account for every penny. You're an asshole. If you're not going to give me a full receipt when you're demanding payment, and at this point, why should I pay? I have Dallas, no idea how to respond to somebody this fucking obstinate. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not fucking with them. I just want to memorize. Can I remind adventure. you? This is the only okay, inn in um, town, and you can't sleep anywhere else. Dallas, <laughs> Dallas. I walk the over to the bartender. I, Dallas, stop. The reason why I'm doing this is to find out who I was drinking with. These people that you're with. <laughs> no, I want to know who else was in the bar. I'm looking for leads. This is not bullshit. It's not okay, making no. loop. Look, he points at Dwayne. He points at all rock done. He points at Vala. And no, he says, did, there was a couple Dallas, of others too. Dallas. Stop. But me too. I don't ask him that. I just want to look over the receipt. Well, that's what you're going, what to, you're find. going to find. That's fine. I am going to also spend the auto hypnosis to memorize. There is one other name. That's what I was looking for, and I want to know when he was there. That's why I'm doing this. Occasionally, you drank with a man named Keldrin Mon. <sighs> I'm going to ask him if uh, oh, how Keldrin has been doing then at the end of it. Keldrin, I will then he's get fine, him. still working over at the docks. All right. Because of amnesia, I was not aware that I had owed this amount or I would have paid it. If I could trade you perhaps in some items that I already have, I could actually make full on this. All right. We do that and you do one other thing and I think we'll consider all the old debts forgiven. So it's not just your well, tab, it was the bar fights, too. We'll let you go ahead and you guys can stay here again. Well, the item that I was thinking of offering to you was one of these. And I will pull out a single one of the alchemists. Oh, well, what were they called? Shit. I'm in the wrong tab. Alchem like alchemists. Um, the alchemist. things that remove uh, horrible hangovers is what oh, they are. Oh, soothe, soothe syrup. Yeah, no. so, sir. Um, One of those yeah, is worth 50 gold pieces, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that yeah but it's lot. especially useful in a bar. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm offering it just to. And you let me take a closer look at the ledger to find out exactly who was around, because I think I've been stalked, and that's why I don't remember things. He shrugs. That would come in pretty handy. We have a supply of it, but any more is welcome. Alchemist kindness, isn't it? Well, no, there's, there's it's, it's soothe, soothe syrup. Things. Alchemist kindness only does a uh, poison soothe syrup, but uh, deals with it after the fact. Probably makes more gold on that than the drinking, to be honest. Unfortunately, the a thorough reading of the ledger doesn't tell you much; it just gives you a bunch of names of people in the city. All right, that's that's fine. Turns out they don't get a lot of it was outside worth visitors. Yeah. He says, now the other matter. The, see, El Grior is... He's going on one of his rants again. If you guys just get him to calm down, I think that would be very appreciated for everybody. What Everyone's did kind he of on say... Edge. 
so that we know how we need to talk him down this time. Well, he's we been, this time he's time been talking been about, about, you know, the vanishing. The vanishing. People missing, like maybe losing their memory and then ending up in an no, asylum. No, no, no. Like, like the old Thrushmore witch vanishings. Oh. We have a witch? Uh, I don't have knowledge. I, I'm playing wrong. Character. No, no, seriously. I ask him. We have a witch? Well, you know the stories about the Thrushmore witch, don't you? And you remember okay. the Briarstone Again. witch that you read about in the library back yeah. on the uh, asylum? Sir. Yeah. And I have, well, no, it's local anyway. Well, we ran across some rather odd things at the uh, at the asylum. Uh, didn't run across a witch. The asylum is that where you lot were at? Again, amnesia. All right, point taken. One of the count's men come in. Could you please let them know that we want to check in that we have a. Uh, Regain minimal faculties. The Count's men? Well, the Count hasn't been in town for weeks. Oh? Who's no, he left over? on some kind of, I don't know, investigation or something? Yeah. yeah. Who's running his household right now, then? Uh, would this guy know the answer to that? I think he would. They're probably buying stuff from in town, so yeah, he would. Hang on. I'm finding your name. Oh, where are you? Starts with an M. I'm trying to remember the actual name. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, Mellison has been in charge. She, she was kind of his second in command. So that's no doubt who's been manning the... in charge of the manor since he left. All right. Well, I wanted to know who I had to ask for when I went there because I don't honestly remember... What exactly I was doing. Also, I'd like you to keep her amnesia. Well, everyone in the bar is pretty much hurt already, anyway. So, right, well, he's. Uh, it's not hard to find El Grior. Uh, he's actually in the square right outside of the uh, the uh, silver. Uh, wagon. He's screaming the end is nigh. Actually, what he's screaming is, Door is coming! The second vanishing is upon us! Pray for your salvation that the Briarstone Witch doesn't take you! And variations on that theme. Um, so, how drunk were you when you uh, made these realizations, friend? Oh, no. I'm not drunk. I'm sober. And sane as can be. Well, sanity is relative, but really, you're sober now? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen no, the light. Seen no, you see, I know the truth. Know the the truth. truth. And who showed you this? Oh, no, I, I saw it in a dream. It was a dream. On, on a side note to the rest of the party, do not let Aloe continue to be the face. He is going to fuck you over because he's not good at it. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I think, right I think, I, I, I'm pretty sure X is our face. I am. <laughs> Which one of the party has the charisma score and the diplomacy check? That's the real well, question. Here. Honestly, dealing with crazy people is something that this, the orc solution will be to just punch him unconscious. You'll you'll see me taking the glove off and just stretching my hand behind my back. <laughs> so offense, I just met you guys. Yeah, but I'm clearly just going to punch him unconscious and then drag him back into the bar. He doesn't seem... Drunk. Like, he doesn't seem inebriated. That's what you I, can tell with your sense of I know, but I was told to take care of him, Dallas. I'm required to do this in the orc fashion, which is pummel him until he shuts up, and then take Maybe him back. Maybe you can try and pump him for information first. Um, yeah, the <laughs> skills that I don't have, let me think what they are. Uh, yeah, I'm not ones. talking about a dice roll, I'm talking about roleplay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, as I Which, asked... by the way, you were doing just fine before we went on to yeah, the Yeah, I tangent. was, but my next plan was to punch him unconscious because he's clearly <laughs> as nutty as I am. <laughs> I, uh... Maybe maybe somebody else should take over the interrogation. <laughs> Listen, I orc things and I only I do things by orking them, all right? <laughs> it's a role for this character. So if somebody wants to shoulder in ahead of Aloe, now's a good time. 
Or, or just just put I'll, your hand I'll on his shoulder happily, and say, I got I'll happily shoulder in, but that's even worse. That's like <laughs> letting no. your dog talk to the crazy guy. Can, can I just pay the tab? Oh, no, the tab's paid. The tab's paid. But the other thing is taking care of this guy. Regardless, Getting him to calm down. The tab's late. Mm -hmm. It looked like we skipped, which means he has to call off a bounty hunter. So, uh, so ask him some questions. He'll he'll tell you no lies. I'll sense motive everything he tells me. Feel free. Do you want to Ooh. hear how it how it how it happened? What's going on? I'll tell you. Who who is this witch? Everybody knows the Briarstone witch. No. 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 Well, I'll tell you. Uh, Way back, way back at the beginning of Thrushmore, there was a witch, and she took people, and she sacrificed them. And now she's back. I know it. I've seen it. Wait, wait, I have to interrupt now. What the hell did she come back for? Ah, she didn't just come back. The town leaders who left, they brought her back. She, they're why she's here. And they're going to come back after it's done, when we're all dead and gone, and take the full run of what Thrushmore has. That's their plan. That's why they left. They're going to steal my beetles. They'll steal my beetles. Hey, we don't want nobody stealing my beetles. Wait, so what did they want her to do that they couldn't just handle by handing some gold to the right people and... Making sure to turn a blind eye with the City Watch. <coughs> well, no, the City Watch has to leave, too. Everyone's got to be dead or gone. Dead or gone. Dead or gone. Mm. That's... There's easier ways to depopulate an area. Um, Alchemist fire comes to mind. Mm. Well, what, what would you get if you burned everything? You wouldn't be able to get nothing. No, you'd get nothing. Why would they get nothing? Because it'd be all burned, you dumb cop. Do they have to go forever just for a day? Sorry to step back in. He started talking crazy and I had to talk to him. Because you speak crazy? Yep. He, he, and yeah, that was a cracking of a knuckle that he would have done in front. <laughs> Look, I'm, trying not to, sure what... I'm just trying to tell people that we gotta, we gotta get out of town before we all dead. But... Won't that make the town leaders dead, too? You're confusing. No, the town leaders left. They left because they, they summoned the witch. But why? Because they want to steal our stuff. We don't have enough stuff to bother with. Look at me. This is all I own. Here, right here. Including the uh, monocle. I have a cat. He has a cat. That's not a cat. Do it's some cat. freakish some mutant kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's it got armor plates. All right, so we ask, does anybody <laughs> in this party have diplomacy? No. 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 Oh. Absolutely not. I'm going to roll on train at this point to just try and get more information out of him, because, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm talking uh, to him anyway. I'll also roll on train, because what can my minus one crew? Oh! That's funny! I channel all of you crazy into the conversation. No one can follow it. Does, does stripping add a bonus to diplomacy? Uh, <laughs> I think it might be distracting. I don't think he's interested in sex right now. How's my diplomacy? Uh, oh, fuck. My diplomacy is worse than... So, so, wait, wait. Before we go on, I think this is an actual question we should ask. What's everyone's diplomacy score? Because mine is eight. I have a minus one. Two. Minus Yours is two. plus two? Minus two. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you've got a plus eight. You actually have a pretty good diplomacy. Okay. <laughs> All right. We either need bluff, diplomacy, or intimidate. Do anybody? I have a little bit of intimidate. By yeah, the way, uh, Aloe, that was enough to get him to friendly. Which he says, yeah. okay, well, I'll... I'll Tone down my speeches, I guess, and I guess well, I won't stand outside the businesses. Well, I'd like details of who told you these things. Oh, no, I wasn't it. told. I saw it. I know she's back. I saw her in a dream. Mm, I had funny dream, too. Have you ever been oh, chased my. by a guy in yellow robes with 
fog behind him that he then beat the shit out of him. No. <laughs> no. I, I, saw, I, I saw the witch rising up out of the bay and just plucking people with their wicked nails. So, how drunk were you the night before? I was not drunk. I'm sober as the day is long. Yeah, I'm gonna sense right. mode that. I'm gonna sense mode of that comment. Sure, go ahead. I, I will also, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's. I'm pretty sure he's stone cold sober. Stone cold insane, but also stone cold sober. Uh, sense motive. So you saw her once, or you see her repeatedly? No, it was just the one dream. What's the one dream? I've seen it. I Where were it. you sleeping? I definitely saw it. Wait. Was it where you were sleeping? Maybe the air is cursed for nightmares. That, it happens. We were in an area cursed look, for nightmares. I'm not the Tell only me. one who thinks that. There was a fisherman who... There was a cave outside of town. And he saw the witch in the cave. You can go ask him. What's his name? What does he look like? Do I actually have his name? Hang on. You got a description. If the guy knows the description... Yeah, I'm just wondering if I have a name for the guy. Well, we need to hit the docks anyway. Do you have something of his? Also, I have to ask you three questions. What is your name? What is... No, wait. Uh, the fisherman's name is Tolly Remsatter. I think that was a Monty Python reference. Hornets are one thing, but making people think that you're just crazy on it is another. You need actual proof to get them to leave. Just shutting like this, it won't go. I'll be back in two seconds, guys. Sorry. Keep sure. going. Allo has a high wisdom, an average intelligence, and a penalty on charisma. So he's forced to only tell the truth. Well, he's I wonder was uh, was Lee gonna roll a diplomacy check with that actual diplomacy skill? I I'm I rolled a twenty. I was talking to crazy. Yeah, and you yeah. got him to friendly, which got him to agree to tone down his rants a little bit and not loiter outside of businesses. Well, I'm trying to point out to him is if we have pr if we have proof. They'll actually leave. Right now, they're just going to ignore you, man. It sucks. That's the thing. I've got the proof. Totally, totally saw her, too. He wasn't even dreaming. Well, that's an important difference. It also means that we need to expect to have to explore the cave. <sighs> Shades. i got to bring these people pointing at everyone. That Not you, Ferdinand. You're cool. Uh, I'll get a mark from the Weird Taco Bell dog at that point. But <laughs> these people into <laughs> a cave. Uh, Some people just, they can't see in the darkness there, dude. I mean, you and I see, but... Lee, are you going to go ahead and roll a diplomacy check? Oh, uh, I can. Like, you're you the one with the actual guess. skills, so... <laughs> uh, no. No, I it's, don't. I thought you said you had a plus eight. eight. No, no, no. My my charisma score is an eight. Um, oh, so you have the same penalty I have. Yes. So Hex, nobody Hex has the most charisma of the party. Yeah. All right. Literally. Wow. But the question is, is no one has intimidate. Either. I have intimidate. Because you can use intimidate in place of diplomacy in a lot of cases. Because remember, Vis Vizier was your uh, knowledge base and your party face. Yeah. Right. You need basically intimidate, bluff, or diplomacy, and it does the social stuff most of the time. That'll work. Plus one. Oh, plus one and per level. Nice. You won't yeah. get me to. You won't silence me. Yeah, I don't think you were scary you enough. Talk to me some more. I think you and I are seeing eye to eye. <laughs> no, no, and I'll look down at him because he's not 6'10 and say, no, we will never see eye to eye. We if should you go guys can hit another DC 18. <laughs> now, hey, you can do some assist rolls here. 
All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll assist with my uh something. All right, click mine. Uh, I'll bluff. I'll lie to him. I have it. We're good people. We'll 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 find find <laughs> Nice roll. God damn it, Maurice. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I got twenty two yeah. on bluff. We're a real good feet. We're a real good lady. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> well, apparently that worked. Mm. Well, we'll go find lady, but you you stay here. We will will we'll find. What you're gonna go kill her? No, 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 no. Girlfriend kill. And you just see Golfer just like the teeth start showing on the on the war cap. Well, I suppose I could believe that. Well, to be fair, if there's a body left over that we need to dispose of, it's I'll probably the best it. way to do it. Mm. All right. Don't waste meat. You guys we... successfully disengaged the ranting demagogue. Well, Al, I agreed with that, but then there was a priestess of Phrasma that yelled at me about it. Mm, don't. No, no. You. you but don't. also. Some of the meat that we've killed, you don't want to eat. It'll make you crazy. Mm. Or sick, or dead. Just because it's made of meat doesn't make it edible. Mm. Heard that about a shark from this guy from the north. No. Let's go to the docks and check out a fisherman, plus that other dude. I need to go and urinate real quick. I will be back. I uh, misspoke something earlier when the barkeep said that uh, that uh, the Count had been gone for a couple weeks. He had been gone for a couple of days, actually. Ah. So, now what? Because I think I'm stuck with you guys. Mm. We go save town from... Lady. I will say what this else gets you is that the uh, you can now stay at the inn. Yeah. Also, you get a free dinner on the first night there. Oh. Uh, Evan Gulston, the proprietor of the stain, will buy a round for you. And something will happen with someone you haven't met yet. Ah. The stain, by the way, is the proper bar in town. Okay. Oh man, I am. <sighs> so what do you do? You got a number of places you can go check out. I guess we'll wait for Jay to get back for you guys to figure out exactly what you want to do. But he is on his way dumb, back. I have a dumb question for you. Sure. That, uh, I love dumb questions. Bottle cap I had on the seer. Does that transfer over to this guy? or am I Yeah, it's a player it? bottle cap. You can use okay. it for, you know, whatever purpose you need. Sure, that's fair. I, I just didn't know if it was by player or by character. No, that's... Because totally I, I might need a bottle cap for some social rules. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys are a non-social party, which is great, because you're in a very social part of the adventure path right now. Yeah, I, the social guy wandered off into the sunset. Whoops. Yeah, that may have been a bad choice. Uh, um, also, of a note, uh, one of the uh, traits that I took um, allows me to cast Speak with Animals at will, specifically to my uh, to uh, cats. <clears throat> so, felines? Yep. Because um, it will come up, because there will be pines where I don't want to talk to the party, and we'll just talk to, kit talk, talk to my cat the entire time. But yeah, Sorry, so like if, I, if I'm not talking to my cat, just assume I cast the spell because I can do it whenever I feel sure, like. Sure, that's fine. Oh man, poison check. So we we doing poison check shit? We're not doing. Todd, poison Todd, why why are you scaring us like that? Don't don't tell us there's poison. This could be a nice bar that we owe tons of money um, to. Yeah, a nice bar called the Stain. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like the Rat Skeller. Yeah, but would I would I like to be clear on what I thought I overheard is you can speak to cats at will. Yes. Yeah. I can specifically do cats, but cats. you don't. You could probably ask cats about what's going on, oh, just random 
cats on the street. Yes. <laughs> Keep in mind, okay. cats do not have a human level intelligence, so you wouldn't be able no. to get much. <laughs> also, their point of view, but if there is something happening that is threatening their people, they won't like that because, well, where are they going to get the free food from? It's especially funny when you consider that cats, in particular, have a special place in the Cthulhu mythos. Yeah, as observers. Mm-hmm. However, I do not have anything like that in the Adventure Path, so that's something to talk about. Now, the question for you guys now is, what would you like to do? You've got a few leads you can check out. Uh, I'm thinking the cave is our best bet, personally. What, right uh, to the cave? In... in, in it, uh, Arakdan won't really care where he's going. He's just kind of following at this point. Like, he's always a little bit behind you guys, too. Like, a little, uh... Uh, kind of suspiciously behind you guys. Like, always, like, at least a fi- at least five foot behind you guys or so. Hmm. So, the okay. cave. Well, well let, let's let's summarize the possible options you guys have to investigate. Well, we don't know where said cave exactly is, so we have to talk to sailor, well, fisherman before. Cave. You would need to talk to Tolly. You also have the name Keldrin Mon. Is someone that you used to drink with, apparently. Uh, you got invited by Winter to the uh, the sleeper. Uh, what's it called? Sleeper Chapel? The Which Sleeper's Sleepless Building. Home to the Sleepless Agency. Uh, that's where Winter went. Uh, along with Cal- uh, uh, Nez. Uh, you could visit the uh, manor if you wanted. Uh, so you've got a few different options. I think that we should probably um, explore our immediate town options and then not sleep at the inn because I don't trust the barkeep at this point. Mm. Just for him to let that seems, large of a... It, it just seems off. Seem, seems seems okay. You you yell at him. He gets scared. Mm, no. Big, big orc. Strong orc. Mm. Much yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. You don't eat orc. That even orcs when they're starting to eat orc. Make you vomit repeatedly. It's not a No, 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 no. No, seriously, even like dragons won't eat. They'll they'll chew us up at least, but they won't eat. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Cursed Bloodlines. So, what are you guys doing? Uh, I vote cave. Yeah, we can go oh. talk to the fisherman. What what could possibly go wrong? We can talk to the fisherman. We can also go talk to the other er, guy that we were drinking with while we're at the docks. We should probably hit the uh, the mansion at some point. I don't think that since there's weird, if we find any weird stuff in the cave going on, we don't sleep at the inn. We sleep at where winter is because apparently divine protection protects you from crazy nights. Mm. If you die in your dreams with this stuff, you turn into a zombie. I don't know her. Mm-mm. That's nice. Just don't talk to her about me. Uh, she'll uh, she'll yell at you. Mm. I think she's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we can go back and we can go see from the for the chapel and see what's going on there. Um, I'm sure they probably have information. If there is kidnappings going on, I'm pretty sure they'd be well aware of it by this point. Yeah, but we can have the docks. The docks would notice people missing because uh, that's a good spot to grab them from. If they're new in town, just get somebody that's new, not missed. They would notice that. All right. All right. So, what's the verdict, kids? Docs. I think I think we're all agreed on docs. All right. Yep. Docs is a good idea. It is evening, uh, so people are just returning from fishing. 
And uh, it is not difficult to find Tolly. Oh, I recognize you a lot. Gone for a few days. What's the count want with me? Um, you, yeah, in those few days, the uh, place where we were at was taken over by an extra-dimensional being, and then horribly rained. What? So, what? don't worry about it, Silver. Okay. Back to my original question, and he looks explicitly away from Aloe at this point. <laughs> <laughs> But what? You came to talk to me. He's not looking at me, guys. He's looking at you. I'm not going to force myself in the face of a man that's not going to look at me. We are disappearing. He thinks you're nuts, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> Didn't know that beforehand. Apparently, there's been a severe change to my character. We, we heard disappearing. Oh, you're yeah. talking about the witch. Yeah. Yeah. You saw yep. something in a cave. Bad, yep. badly. There's a light a cave over a, a small cave on the shore, about a mile out or so. All right. So did you see a light, or did you actually see a witch? I saw a light. But, okay. uh... The most crazy, crazy pants would be claiming that the end is nigh, and it's saying that you're the source. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> when I was listening to him, it made a lot of sense with all the people vanishing and all. What else could it be but the witch snatching right. people up again? People are missing? Yeah. Everybody's really on edge about it. Myself included. Mm. Have you heard anything about a yellow mist? Only that it was around the asylum. Any nightmares that people have been having? He shakes his head. Nothing out of normal. Okay. Everybody occasionally has a nightmare. Yeah, but this might be more prevalent. If you describe the nightmares you were having about the uh, yellow mist and the, uh, the oh, no. man, he's like nothing like that. Sounds no, awful. no, I don't, I don't describe, I don't describe that because that's something you don't need to describe. People will volunteer the information. Okay, well, he he clearly does not know about that. All right, like. Yeah. Use the buddy system. Don't walk alone. Don't leave town. <laughs> <laughs> that you might want to leave town. Don't leave town. Yeah. <laughs> From the guy who doesn't want to be in town. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't see. I'm blind! Don't, it doesn't matter. I can see. That's what matters. Uh, My character is the only one with dark vision now. Correct. Everyone else. Are, everyone no, it else doesn't is. actually go dark. I'm doing map building. <laughs> yeah, I know, but but I would like to point uh, out we're going to go into a cave who has light sources. I do. Hang on, hang, hang, hang on, ice pick. I'm I'm on low. Oh, that was actually a good bluff. God damn it. <laughs> Does that mean you want to uh, take command of Ferdinand today? No, nope. I had it last time. Not taking that. Not taking the evil dog. Nope. Well, traditionally, it should be near or the most vulnerable arcane caster. I mean... <laughs> we don't have one of those. I was going to yeah, say, I'm free. Well, no, if he gets lippy to the, the Magus, the Magus will just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Without provocation. Yeah. Is it an evil dog? Uh, chaotic and evil, you know. All right. Feeds if feeds, on, so yes. Okay. It feeds on fear. We said, "Hey, you should follow us around because you'll get plenty of fear off the people that we're fighting, and if they're more powerful than us, you can feed off of our fear." To, to be fair, it's our rogue. So. So please don't kill the rogue. Please don't kill the rogue. Wait, that, that is actually the answer to every lawful good character. Quit killing the fucking rogue. We need that guy. Please don't kill the rogue. Consider this indentured servitude for him. Okay, that's his punishment. Just, just don't kill the rogue. I guess there isn't a law against it. <laughs> uh, no, there is not a law against having this specific thing follow us around. It's just a dog that can find traps. Is actually what it probably... To, it's what we'll say, because <laughs> we refer to it as the dog we found in the asylum. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it, it, 
It is the it dog is that dog. we found in the asylum. If you have knowledge planes, you might notice something. <laughs> yeah, you would need yeah. to roll knowledge planes on it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hex has knowledge planes? Oh, this could get fun. I got that. Uh. Wow, really? Oh, no. Oh, well. Not, not dog, dog. Not, not dog. Of course, it's a rogue. He's really good at hiding. Oh. Yeah. There was this guy from an island that once did it, but he couldn't get out of it. You, you smell like lie. How okay, it's I not, a, it's not a dog, but it will function as a rogue. I don't know what it is. We found it in the asylum. Don't Someone kill it. Someone needs to be role playing him at this point. <laughs> um, it's probably doing that puppy dog eyes. Don't. Oh yeah, it. no, it looks just like you know a small dog. Okay. Right now, it looks like a small dog. Yes, right now. So we haven't asked it to disable any traps. Just to find them at this point. <laughs> I mean, I assume that Ice has the character sheet. Uh, no, I have his stats. Oh, add uh, add some rogue stats to that. Oh, Damn. you gave him a level of rogue. We said we could. Yeah. No, we discussed the other options. The other option was archaeologist. <laughs> well, basically, <laughs> he's a non-combat character who's going to get rogue levels. Yeah. So that you can, yeah, can have what, a trap finder. <laughs> that that's why I said archaeologist, so he can get buffs too. But yeah, so that he always survives for no and, goddamn and luck, reason. And luck bonuses, so she yeah. always survives. Yeah, people just don't notice him. He 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 pops a, a potion of invisibility or casts it himself. Hides in the corner until we're done. Feeds off the fear from the battle. Anyway, that's yeah. I, I think archaeologist. So you is the way to you go. have a rough location from totally where it is. Yeah. Um, before we go out there, he said it, it was out on the water? Yep. It was uh, up the coast. About a mile, thereabouts. Well, we could just walk along the beach, couldn't we? Nah, it's a grotto. It, you would be able to walk there. It's late. Yeah, we'll be able to late. Part. Well, before we leave, let's see if we can find that one dude, and then we'll go see Winter, the do-not-eat-anything lady, who doesn't cast great food, apparently. Oh, you wanted to go meet uh, Naramore? Uh, wanted to yeah. find or Keldron? Good. Good lord, who's Naramore? <laughs> I don't know, that sounds actually a little bit Tolkien-ish. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. I, I have no idea what Keldron had emerged third from. son of the Stuarts. He died before he reached the Council of Elrond. He carried an even larger horn for distress. The youngest son was never. Well, given if you a ask horn. after him, uh, they say, "Oh, he's not here now. Uh, he actually already got off his ship and headed up to the stain." Well, we can swim by the stain our way to where we're staying. Everyone leaving town. He's not leaving town. He went right to the bar we were at. I thought you were good with directions. Out there, city no. City. Here, let me play you the song of my people. And then he proceeds to put his hand underneath one armpit. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the you, same uh, chat. You... It's just as bad as you think it is. <laughs> Go for him. Oh, that should be a perform check, not diplomacy. It's the same bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, you follow oh, Keldrin to the stain? Um, well, I thought we'd stop by there before we headed to, uh, to where Winter's at to spend the night there, because obviously, uh, there are problems at night here already. Yeah, it turns really gloomy, and it's kind of... Everyone's kind of grim, the more you look at it. Can I do a sense motive, like, on the on the people, just sure. in general? But, but my question is, is it the 41st millennia, and is there only war? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. What? I had to ask. He said grim. Oh, man, I rolled a solid two on that. 
15? Uh, um, I'm looking for a hunch with sense. No, so. it's it's more like there's just this general malaise that kind of is centered over the town. People are people are worried. There's the kidnappings. Oh, okay. You've got that guy who was ranting about the end is near. It's, but it's not a magical. No, like, it's not like a magical effect. It's okay. just people are concerned, as they ought to be. It's fair. All right, so you go to the stain, and you find a guy who matches the description of Keldrin Mon. Keldrin! Oh, hey! Hello, it's been a while since I've seen you. Where have you been? Where have you been? Had a little head problem. Can we talk over at that table over there? Sure. I'm going to sniff him and see if I remember the scent. Same, same with the... Uh, same with okay. Do I, Do I remember the scent? With remember the or, sun? What? The scent. 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 Uh, this guy's really is, that fi- is, a, is a scent memory filed away in the same place as regular memories? I have no idea. We need to decide that now, because that basically okay. means the answer. Uh, scent how- actually... Okay. Scent, like, okay, okay, actually, scent can trigger new memories. Right, but those memories don't exist right now. Is what I'm Wait, saying. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying. I'm trying to uh, answer Icepick's question. Scent memories are slightly differently stored, but they're still associated with the other portions of that particular memory. So if that particular memory is erased, the scent will be familiar. Or in a lot of people's cases, uh, the memory isn't strong enough anymore for them to remember it. And when they're finally exposed to a scent, it re-triggers that. It's because it's directly hardwired into the brain. It's not like other things where it goes through a separate organ first. Yeah. The problem with that is, is that there's no memory to associate it with. Yeah. So, Which so means the, the actual it, question it, is... It'll be, it'll be like a sense of deja vu, basically. Yeah. yeah. It would yeah. give him something that he's smelled this before, but he doesn't know the context. That would be all that he would get out of it. You don't have any you context any about context this smell, but you have smelled it before. Okay. okay. I mean, the guy could have said them poop, but I, I mean, I saw poop before, so... This is true. You might, you know what? You might be smelling whoever does his laundry or Mm. just his laundry soap. You don't know. Yeah. Fair. Fair. No, totally fair. No, that didn't work. That's the problem with smells. They're they have a lot of information, but it's not specific. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in the corner. Where'd you go? Was it fun? Uh, some people might have considered it fun. He gets kind of I a would, weird expression on his face when you say it. I like would that. consider it as very uncomfortable and confusing. Huh. Okay. Well, do you know what's going on with the Count? I mean, I heard he left town just before you turned back up. Are you all still working for him? Yeah, we would have wanted to talk to him before he left, but apparently we didn't uh, come back in time. He gets a, his brow furrows. Well, well it's... Uh, that's strange, though. I figured you'd know about it. It seems like he's hired some new people over at Iris Hill. Some of them are pretty creepy, actually. Definitely not from around here. Yeah, so... Have you ever been out to a grotto out over, and I'll, I'll give him information about the location? You oh, there? you're oh, talking about that talking cave Tolly totally found? Totally found? Yeah. What's going on with that? Because, uh, Trying to convince Mr. Crazy Pants that the end is not nigh. Oh, jeez, oh, yeah. You guys also, get him to settle down? In the last couple of days, well, a little bit. In the last couple of days, uh, seems like people have been going missing. Have you heard anything about that? Oh, the kidnappings? Oh, yeah. But they're just flat out kidnapping. So is there a ransom note? Because this is just some kidnapper trying to extort money. Well, a lot of people are saying it's the witch. I don't know anything about that, but I mean, definitely a lot of people have been disappearing. All right, that's not a kidnapping. That quite literally is either something feeding off of the population, dude, or quite literally somebody needs a blood sacrifice. You're acting. Kind of strange. Are you okay? 
Not entirely. Um, well, like, well, like, go, well, like, tell me what's like, going on. He pulls up closer to the table. Where we were at was very, well, very stressful. Mm -hmm. Well, where were you? I'm go, I'm, there were dietary restrictions. I'm go, you didn't I'm, answer uh, my question. No, no, don't let him... I'm, I'm like, go. Han's gone. Yeah, I was just like, while those two are talking, I'm go, kind of like looking around the bar and seeing that some people are paying for their drinks, so I kind of like quickly walk by one and um, palm a coin. Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> just because. Someone took the greedy trait. <laughs> uh, that's a plus four because it is a coin. Oh, oh my. <laughs> someone, someone took the greedy. Or, uh, sorry, it's Avarice. It's the Avarice yeah. drawback. To be honest, he probably could get away with it in the spark because the owner is fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, they have to be, like, they basically have to be a 27 perception. Uh, oh, no, they, they can't be the <laughs> <laughs> I roll. I rolled a nine. So uh, I, I, I'm I still, not good either. Yeah, I still. So basically, think like, so basically, I just grabbed the gold for food. <laughs> presently, food, you know how much uh, gold actually pays for. Presently, the female <laughs> barkeep <laughs> arrives okay, with a round of drinks for you. We didn't this order like, any. Man. Oh, you didn't have to order these. This is just payback for getting Elgrior to settle down. Oh, so that was more than uh what our current tab was at. Uh, I'll, uh, oh, yeah, you're talking about over at the uh, Silver Wagon? Yeah, did you get that settled out? Ease. It's better than it was. We're still working on it, and you just showing up the drinks could have interfered with that. So. I'll uh, I'll have uh, Gulfram take a sniff on it, make sure it's not. Right, when, uh, when she leaves, Keldrin leans better. back in. Come on, why don't you tell me what happened to you guys? There was a guy in robes. He was in yellow, tattered robes. He punched us in our brains. It was bad after that. He looks very confused. But you didn't tell me where you went. What, why won't you tell? We've been friends for we years. Did. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? We did some investigations about what happened over at the uh, the asylum out there. We wanted to talk to our boss about it when we came back, but he'd gone off to go do something else. We haven't made it up there to see if he left a message for us. Well, you went to the asylum? What were you doing at the asylum? Well, it did get covered in a strange yellow fog and had a bunch of cultists in tattered yellow robes. He's trying to figure out... I don't have enough details to give you the straight answer because I don't know the truth to it, okay? Well, what do you remember? <laughs> uh, I got in a fight and I won that night and then I was in the asylum and I had to fight my way out with the fucking suicidal elf. Wait, so you, you don't remember... What do you not remember? What do you not remember? Do you not remember, you me? Don't remember me? How I got from... All right. What I just and, uh, said... It's time for me to point out, you don't. <laughs> no, I don't, but I haven't revealed that if you've noticed. Okay. <laughs> so if you'd like to roll sense motive versus my bluff... Feel free. Uh, I'll just go back up to the diplomacy macro. I'm being elusive, not flat out lying. I'm just omitting the okay, truth. Okay, so he beat you. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell that there's more to me waking up at the asylum than I'm letting on to. Wait, wait, you don't just you wake up at the wait. asylum. Something happened to us when we were working for the Count. He felt it was best to have us go and be treated there. That place went to hell. He's gone by the time we sorted it out. Well, so you, you got committed to the asylum by the Count? It didn't say committed. It did, did actually. It? <laughs> Zag Alan did not want to actually read those records, if you remember. It no. was the elf. That's true, but he did relay that information to you guys. Yep. Yeah, but did... he doesn't use that word because that's the crazy, crazy word. You don't right, which is absolutely what you were. 
No, I was just very absent-minded and interested in flesh. Well, Sweet well if you've meat. been gone for a few days, the least I can do is fill you guys in. So, as I told you already, the Count left town a few days ago. I think you he's know trying. Why? I think he's trying to shore up his position. Like I'm sure you heard about the uh, the uh, the accusers investigating him, right, for not ruling correctly. No, didn't have that. You did hear about that. You heard about it from Winter. Um. Oh, they're the ones accusing him, right? <laughs> Right. We're going to get to that place. You guys need to take better notes. <laughs> no, my character really doesn't care about political bullshit like that. He just wants to find out what happened. And can I get away from the tentacles? Because um, if you go any further than that, it gets complicated. He was an orc. You don't ask who you actually work for. Because if you know, you die by Hobbit. Todd could play the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shortly thereafter, uh, the magistrate vanished too, and nobody knows where he went. Well, let's assume for a moment that what Crazy Pants was saying was true, because, uh, well, <coughs> he, hold on a second. Where we came from, uh, Crazy was actually channeling... Oh, what what do the elf call it? Uh, planar leakage. It didn't sound good because apparently they're not supposed to leak. Mm, yeah, it's a bad thing to happen. He said it was a bit. It, it killed the. Uh, it killed the head of the asylum. We had to put her body down. Thankfully, she was out of it. I'm assuming that you're not with them, which if well, you to be are... Fair, he uh, actually doesn't say that the magistrate disappeared. It's just, he says, yeah. nobody's been able to talk to the magistrate. Uh, the constable said that uh, Magistrate Paget left the town for some unknown reason. And she also said that we couldn't. they couldn't set up a night they patrol, even though people patrol. were disappearing. So that's weird. Well, sounds like we need to see the local constabulary and smack well, If you want to talk to uh, uh, Const the Constable Selen, uh, she's over at Fort Hale Course. All right. So, in all honesty, we uh, our memories ha have some blank spots. Uh, oh, well, let, let me fill them in a little bit more. Because uh, there's been well, a lot that's been going on since you guys... All right, but before you go to that point, I have one direct question to ask you. Sure. Do we have letters of Mark from the Count? Uh, no, uh, you don't have I me. Mean, you don't have them on you anyway. Besides that, well, no, you don't no, know I, if you had them. Well, no, I, I'm asking him. Does he know? Uh, if you have? sort of just worked for him. I don't think it was letters of Mark exactly. I think okay. you guys were kind of more off the books than anything. Unofficial, there, official. You know what I mean? We. We weren't, mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, so in other words, we did nothing that required a letter of Mark from him. Yeah. The reason why I asked is, is there's an easy way to find out what's going on by just smacking some people around, but apparently that's going to cause problems. Well, other reasons too. A lot of people, you weren't nice you to weren't everybody nice. before. Well, let me put it this way. I'm not. one of the few people in town who trusts you guys. Yeah, I wouldn't be asking the townsfolk. I was going to smack around uh, town officials, actually. Yo, good luck finding them. Most of them are out. That's the problem. Wait. Who's missing? I I'm just going to stand up. Yeah, all right. He starts He starts tapping off fingers. Uh, well, right, you've got the down. people who were kidnapped are obviously not around. Most of them yeah, aren't the town leaders, though. You've got the count himself who's gone missing. The magistrates left town. Uh, the only people of any position of authority who are still in town is the constable, uh, the leader, uh, Cesarin, the leader of the sleepless agency, and, uh, the Count's, uh, Major Domo, uh, Mellison. That's, as far as I know, those are the only people left. 
how many people of uh, what other political stations that would be necessary to run the city have left, and when did they leave? Well, that's it. That's, that's, the, it. List. that's the list. I mean, no, oh no. yeah, you you went, you were. You were brain, no, that's the people that are fuckers. still here. I want the list of people that are gone. Yeah, the the big list is, of course, the count and the magistrate, as well that's, as the other kidnappings. Uh, the count and the magistrate being missing is a big deal. Wait, 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 that's not mysterious. The magistrate and the count being gone at the same time is not mysterious. God damn small towns. <laughs> Seriously, he could both. They could both have legitimate reasons for leaving. Oh, but they couple that with the kidnappings, and everybody's on edge. Kidna- you're calling them kidnappings. It could just be a serial killer. Kidnappings, and disappearances. You wouldn't be concerned about it. Okay, you really have changed. Disappearances. Oh, it could just be a serial killer walking around. Just a serial killer. Just a serial killer. No, I'm guessing it's probably a cannibal cult or some sacrifice cult. You, a serial better. killer doesn't kill this much at once. You seem remarkably <laughs> calm about this. No, I'm not calm. I'm just intoxicated. I've been drinking the entire time. If you notice, we need another picture. Oh, it's funny because this is true in character and out of character. <laughs> yeah, I actually have been drinking. It, so. um, Same here. Uh, but he says, okay, well, listen, there's some, there's more you should know. There's some new people in town, too, aside from those new people up at Iris Hill. There's some folks who seem like minor nobles that have come into town. I think, yeah, this is just speculation about these noble people. They look noble. They wear noble clothes and things like that. I think that they're here to siphon off some of the Count's power after he left. That's why I think they're here. Where are they staying? What do they look like? Well, they're staying... I know some of them are staying up at the manor. I'm not sure where all of them are staying, to be honest. But they have been seen around town. Well, there's one inn and the manor. My guess is they don't stay here. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I don't trade in those circles. But I bet the workers do. I wonder. Mm. Well, I just settled the debt, so uh, I'm going to go attempt a diplomacy check with the uh, the barkeep. <laughs> well, there's one other thing. Now, this, I don't know, but this might be the most important thing. So the last time I saw you, um, you were over around Pier 19, and it looked to me like you were stuffing something up underneath the dock. And that's a pretty good place for safekeeping if you knew you were going to leave town for a few days. And everyone's still kind of scared of that pier after that creature melted Jan, Myrtle, and Karen a few years ago. So no one was going to go poking around your stuff. Melt. Well, I don't think they would anyway if we were as mean as you said we were. I don't think they would now, considering that we've come back from the asylum acting like different people, so obviously we're insane now, on top of being dangerous. You came back from the asylum. That's a pretty safe assumption. You know, it's weird that a town this size has an asylum just there. It's been here as long as the town, almost. Mm. Who founded the town? And I think you guys got this information when you were doing the research. Yeah. Well, probably, probably, but Allo would have brought that up anyway. And, and out of it, it was like, and then the witch shows up and claims that location. And they're like, let's go put a crazy house there. Hmm. I mean, we are in Uslav. We are in Uslav, so yeah, it would be a great place to put a crazy house. <laughs> it's a good place to have a crazy house. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, it's either really crazy or if they're just going to give you arcane power or if you need to nuke the site from orbit. Uh, speaking of nuke the site from orbit, I am going to attempt to talk to the barkeep at this point. Okay. I, what do you have to ask? Have to ask? Well, I want to find out how ru- rumor-mongering of a friend we have. Because some of the things like, yeah, the two ta- all the town officials are out except for the, or, or these two other people. Well, who's missing? Well, the count and the magistrate. That's two people. Well, and general townspeople. The other people missing, yeah. But <laughs> just those two, and they said they were leaving. Um, And then I wanted to find out if any servants have shown up that might be servants of nobles that are visiting the town. 
Because they um, don't necessarily always have everybody. Like, they might have their immediate servants, like uh, like their butler or their major domer or whatever travel servant goes with them, go with them. But the guy actually running the coach, yeah. that guy doesn't get to stay in there. She and says, probably, you know, it's a little strange now that you mention it. There's no, there are new people coming to town, new servants over at Iris Hill and some other folks, but they haven't really spent any time here at the Stain, and we're the only real bar in town, so that is a little weird. Wait, wait. Iris Hill? Iris Hill, yeah, that's the Count's Manor. You know that. You work for him. To be honest, I have drank a large quantity of the alcohol that was sent over by the beer maid. How much do I owe you at this point? Because apparently you just simply intoxicate people into Tonight you guys were drinking for free because you got rid of the ranting guy, but yeah, it'll be normal price starting tomorrow. Hmm. Why well, I came over to ask and also to clear up that ranting guy might come back depending on what we find out. Has anybody mentioned anything about the finding a cave or Give me a perception the... check? Perception check. Yeah, just you know, Everyone overhearing or... stuff on the bar. Yeah. Everyone or just uh, just Alan? Mm-hmm. Well, he's listening, so I gave it to him. Okay. Good roll. Damn. Uh, <laughs> people are Good talking roll, about man. it, but nothing you haven't heard already. Also, how many people have disappeared? Because that's kind of concerning. I got to. I think at this I'm point, it's probably a dozen. Is that including or not including us? That is not including you. Out of character, how big is the town? Uh, I'm actually not sure if it's a dozen. Let me look at the number of people in the town, and I'll give you a more accurate answer. Okay. Because, you know, which, people missing in a small town. town. Trust it all? Uh, it is a large town, a population of 30, about 3,500 total people, so it's going to be more than a dozen. Yeah. Um, actually, even... More than like three people will be noticed in a town that size. Yeah, and I'm talking like modern times, let alone like medieval or yeah, even. We'll, we'll go with a dozen. Like that. that sounds like a good round number. Okay, and yeah, do you know where all these extra servants are staying? And I will then slide across the table. Wait, do I have the cash? Do I have the cash? Because, really, I, I did a lot of stuff with cash. I will uh, slide over a gold, well, uh, five gold pieces to bribe him for information. Uh, she slides your gold back because she doesn't know. It's like, doesn't I appreciate know. your offer, but your I offer. couldn't tell you even if you gave me 50 gold. Hmm. Seems to be that something is going on in town that might be dangerous. Well, yeah, yeah. everybody's on edge. Yeah, but they're not the sort of people that can upstake and leave without a valid reason. I should have purchased some Alchemist Fire when I was at the market. I could fix this whole thing tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Out of character, I just made a reference to lighting the whole town on fire to depopulate it. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Aloe is true neutral. It is an animal solution. You bark as loud as possible to tell the pack that it needs to leave. Fire is the great way to tell people to leave. Uh, it's a little chaotic on the, on the end. It might kill some people, but not if it's slow. As half a druid... I'd prefer if you didn't burn down the town. What's wrong with burning down the town? It's not nature. As half a druid. As half a druid. Okay. When they all go Cthulhu cult on us, can then I burn down the town? So what do you want to do? You were going to go... I think the other thing you were going to do was go talk with Sasadia. Sasadia? Oh, yeah. The manor? Um, not no. After- uh, the sleepless building. 
Oh, sleepless building. Yeah, we were going to go over there because we don't trust sleeping here if, if we can get an option. Having the debt settled, however, was needed to be able to negotiate stuff in town, I feel. It was specifically, specifically to be able to sleep at the end. Yeah. yeah. So I we, prefer we for, an indoor place to sleep. We created an indoor place to sleep. That That's one of the things. It's also with the, the people. Uh, it's an area that's good to actually do reconnaissance at. So. so, you arrive. Uh, by now, uh, Winter and Nez already arrived and entered. Uh, but you knock at the door, and there's no answer. Hmm. Is the door locked? The door is, uh, not, is not locked. I will knock with 11 strength check on the door. Okay. Oh, oh, a second knock uh, has someone arrived. You literally just had to knock twice. <laughs> no. Damn. Uh, and there's a woman standing there, and she says, she looks narrow-eyed at you. Can I help you? Yes, uh, Winter and one of our uh, companions, uh, Nez, said that they could be found here. Oh, you're you need to speak with them. Your friends of Winter? She well, sighs. she did sound friendly last time I talked to her, and she didn't talk to me last time I saw her. But really, I think it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> you, you told the, the clerk of death. No, I asked her if it was okay to eat the body after we reburied it, if that would cause the haunt to come back. I didn't say I was going to do it. I didn't ask her if it was okay to eat the body. I just pointed out that People are going by to the start way, starving, and uh, that was a source of calories. I, did, I neglected to mention, you guys actually, a messenger came after you were done talking with uh, uh, Caladrin? Caladrin? Oh. I can't even remember her fucking name. Caladrin. They find us here, then. Yeah. Uh, and, well, actually, they were asking you to come and talk to Cecilia. Well, we'll go there after here. This is here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, it's also super late at night ish by yeah, this point. But this so. is important. I wouldn't say super late. We didn't stay drinking until we blitzed our minds out of existence. True. Not that we so could I have. Believe I actually had a picture of Cecilia. Give me a moment. Is she the lady that rings the bell and shouts shame? Shame. Because really, if we're going into that sort of religious doctrine area, this is not a good place for Allo. He's <laughs> not able to handle it. He's been wronged by religion. His people have been wronged by religion so badly. I mean... They were made by a fucking dark force by Twisting Elves. What do you want out of him? You want him to be religious? Not to you, dudes. Only orc gods for orcs now. And they're not very good gods because orcs are not good at socializing. We we noticed. I, I saw I, I saw your rolls. <laughs> I can roll a twenty once in a while. The unexpected twenty it will not save us in the next five levels. It'll make things worse. That's what she looks like. She looks like. I will Hello, uh, bring this over to the Twitch chat and see her as well. Why is she all in black? Because you're an Ustalov. Yeah. Also, on a side note, if you download a Ustalov is basically Romania. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's how you need to look uh, at it. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would like to let you know for if you want to grab the uh, the actual image, Adobe Acrobat, the current reader, will let you browse them out of the adventure pass now. It works sometimes, and sometimes doesn't work. Mm. Mm, weird. It sounds like their PDF authoring software was. Not registered. So anyway, anyway, you arrive and this place is full of people. Like, full of people. Yeah, Because like the survivors bad. don't know where to go yet. Well, I have bad news for them. We're about <laughs> ready to create more, I think. And that's part of the reason But you are there. quickly shown into uh, Cesadia's office. And she's a severe woman. Sitting at a desk, 
And she... Which means I need to immediately explain. All right, I was just asking if we needed to eat the body, if it was okay, because I didn't <laughs> know. He freaked out. I didn't continue to argue with her. I'm not sure what she was saying afterwards, because some of it I don't think was in common. I just she, asked. She, she smirks as you immediately begin apologizing. Actually, Winter had mostly only good things to say after your group, which is a bit of a surprise, considering your reputation. I, yeah, I gather we never um, really have a good reputation anywhere. No, well, you don't. When you work for the local count and he tells you what to do, what do you expect? Uh, you, uh, to put it mildly, were not considered good people. Well... I wouldn't say good, but I wouldn't say evil. No, I don't mean that in a good and evil sense. I mean as in a colloquial sense, they ain't good people, as they might say. Well, it depends on what their perception was. I mean, maybe really what the Count was doing was for the good of the town. I honestly don't remember at this point. To the point at hand, I really wish to know, from your perspective, what happened at Briarstone Isle, especially the supernatural events. Have you talked to Vasir? Uh, no, he apparently left well, town. Well, we got a problem, could. then. Because uh, he's the guy that knew what was going on. <laughs> Facts. You, he knows the because specifics of the magic. Being the gunslinger, we don't do the whole... This is DM talking. Thing. This is the DM talking. DM talking. He knew about the he specifics knew. of the magical shit that happened and the actual magic of it, but you were still there. Still there. I was still there, but I have a great cop out. I, I really don't understand. You don't have to understand, you just have to relay what happened. Lots. Well, it appears that there is a Vasir described it as a leak from somewhere, and uh, it likes to turn people into Zombies and also cultists. Hmm. They're really into yellow and fog and <laughs> worn out clothing. And how did you come to be on Briarstone Isle? Apparently, we had amnesia and the Count arranged it for us to go there for treatment. He also allowed a book that turned the head of the establishment to turn into one of those leaking areas and it killed her. So, I don't like my former employer necessarily unless he can explain that he didn't understand that he was about ready to kill somebody by hand a book. Because he could have handed it to me. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, the title of the book, I I, I have notes from Basir here. Basir gave me this in case you, in case I had to explain it because he knew that it would happen. All right. She Actually, I had him write that because he kept trying to kill himself. <laughs> I just wanted to walk through the door and talk to the nice lady. And you're trying to chase, he tried chasing a unicorn into an area that had quite literally random mother by the count of ten, and none of it was good weather. I mean, that's fair. I'll give you that one. No one else saw the unicorn? I don't think the unicorn existed. We weren't in a sane asylum. We were committed by our employer. Um, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't from something that we ran across upon his uh, instructions. I don't think it's necessarily responsible for what happened. However, these disappearances, they sound a lot like what the startup was when we were talking to the Caldos. Huh. Things getting mirrored. I have a question. Ask away. Do you know if people have been purchasing drawings and paintings from a, uh, a former resident of the, well, rather, they would know him as a current resident. He's former now that he's dead. Of the asylum. She shakes her head. But now that you mentioned the kidnappings, the disappearances, those have been weighing on my mind. There are many people in town who are insisting that the Briarstone witch has returned and she's snatching people up. 
that must be a more reasonable explanation. You mentioned cultist activity. There was cultist activity on the aisle? Oh, yeah. They liked yellow. They really liked yellow. I... Um, there are many in town who would accuse you of being paranoid, but I agree with you. I agree. Have you run across other evidence of cult activity? There's a few dots that some breadcrumbs, perhaps, that lead me to believe that something strange is going on in that. Oh, shit. You know, I just realized now that there's not anyone to watch our friend, the crazy guy. They've probably killed him or grabbed him next. Well, we'll find out when he comes out to do his next paranoid rant. Thanks for stopping him, by the way. That's why I asked you here to talk to me. Well, I don't think he's necessarily wrong. I just think that he is reason for wanting to warn people. Well, he's certainly wrong about the Briarstone Witch. The Briarstone Witch is not coming back. I agree with you. I think that there's a cult afoot. But it's... We're stretched thin. I've only got a skeleton crew of agents. I have a question for you since you have agents. Do you know where the Count went? Nobody in town knows where the Count went. We know he's gone. Who are the nobles that are currently staying at his mansion? They're unknown, They're unknown. to be honest with you. Unknown. No one knows who they are. They seem, they no, seem no, no, like nobility, nobility but... but if no one I've met. That's one of the reasons I suspect that there's cult activity afoot. The other things include, well, the closing of Fort Hale Course is highly irregular, even with the Mr. Wait, Magistrate. Wait, wait. They closed the fort? Yes. I believe that the Count's departure is also figuring into the town's misfortunes, so I don't know how. Wait, wait. Did they evacuate the soldiers? The mercenaries defected, actually. De defected? They left. Well, that's not defected. That's uh, They weren't paid, so they, they left. Well, that's perhaps not they weren't paid enough. They only had mercenaries? They didn't have proper soldiers? That sounds like a very bad plan for defense. You have lost your memory, haven't you? We are still yeah. in Ustalav. Well, yeah, but it, the point is, is any soldier, if you don't pay them and the things get hard, they will just leave. All soldiers are mercenaries. It's only militias that actually are fighting for their own lands. I do. I, did, I also noticed that the Count has largely replaced his servants with a, with, again, peculiar again, foreigners brought by ship. All of this replaced. points to something strange going on. Did he replace his majordomo? No. no. Melison is still in charge. From all reports I have. Why was the magistrate straight assigned as the magistrate? Well, he's been here for, been here decades. for decades. He's been very... He's been very what's the word I'm looking word. for here? He's not from here, correct? No, he's he's from Ustalov. I, I actually don't know. But, but like, out of from character, from I don't know whether or not he's an agent. Okay, but he's been so here long enough that nobody questions it. Uh, All right. The magistrate, or who are you asking? The about? magistrate. The magistrate. The reason why I asked that is I was looking for clues of native born, foreign born. Well, okay. These foreign born people that are the question is like within the last couple of weeks at the latest. I don't know. I, I was trying to figure out what uh, the cult was after. This isn't my first time around the the, the call of Cthulhu who uh, born, okay? Yeah, I got you. As for that, though, the magistrate's been... Uh, he. The word I would use is he's very particular. He's an excellent bookkeeper and very fastidious. Do you know why he left? Nobody, I, 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 nobody knows why he left. All we know is that the constable has said that he left and the fort is shut. The fort is shut. Wait. They left the constable still here. 
I guess the term that you might think when she says constable is chief constable, chief. essentially. Chief con well, no, the, yeah, it would be chief constable. Well, actually, that's who we should talk about for the disappearances. Let's see if he's lying. Also, she, I actually. Yeah, she... Well, I didn't know. They said constable. It's it's a neuter term. True. True. Also, I just, uh, thought, like, I just thought of it. Like, um... I'm, like, my character would probably be one of the mercenaries that left. Well, no, you wouldn't be because you've worked for the Count for, like, years. Oh, right. Count, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, okay, it was a thought. Sorry. Well, no, another thought. question for this whole thing is, is, uh... No. I have this eerie feeling with all this all the peculiarities that we're going to end up having to bring all of the good town folk to this location because only divinely protected location might be protected. Because that's the way it was inside of the asylum. And if anything similar to what is what went on there is the case, that's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason why I asked about paintings or drawings by a certain uh, person. That's the person that was the head of the cult that, after we confronted him and battled him, out popped out a horrific form of... I don't know what it was. It didn't die easily. It brandished fear upon us just by its mere presence. It did not belong here. In this world, she is uh, rubbing her chin at this description. It's not the first time I've heard of otherworldly things. Something I suppose well, I should mention is that more people have been saying that they've spotted the apparition of the previous countess, but that's always been one of those local stories. She wouldn't have been spotted around a uh, a cave along the coast in a grotto. Oh, you're talking about the rumors that Tolly has been spreading. Badly. Well, he did see something going on in there. My guess would be probably the cults there, or some mages there, or it's smugglers. I'm I'm personally hoping for smugglers, and we just run across smugglers because smugglers that that's no big deal. Well. well We've known about that grotto floor. for a we're while. We're going to find a gateway to the yellow sand dimension, and we're going to have to run away from it, screaming, telling everyone to run. We at the Sleepless we Agency have it. known about that cave for a while. We wow. keep tabs on it. It's mostly used by uh, smugglers, addicts, pirates. Uh, we haven't had a chance to get out there since Tolly made his rumors about seeing a light there. We've been spread thin. Uh, when is the last that's what I, what's what I actually asked you for. If you could follow up on those rumors, figure out what's going on there, it would be very helpful. How long ago did you look in there last? Oh, uh, it's going to be about, about three weeks ago. Well, it's not very long. Where did the disappearances start? Uh... The disappearances actually started, I want to say, after. Ha. Huh. Well, I think we just have some slavers inside of the, uh, the location. As far as the nobility, my guess is that they're attracted by what's-his-face's art that, uh, being peddled by the Count, and the Count's gone off to go deal with other stuff. Oh, by the way, we heard rumors that you were trying to say that the Count was screwing up ruling here, which if we're still under his employ, we should probably ask you about that while we're here. Uh, I'd like to settle the dispute as quickly and amicably as possible, because I don't want to fight with priestesses that yell at me. 
<laughs> well, chances because I've been are, told that they expect orcs to burn temples down, burning stuff down for no reason. Uh, that's just not my If the accusers came to investigate the Count, and she's rubbing her chin again as she's putting things together. I haven't asked Winter about this yet, but I'm guessing that they must have received word from the magistrate. He would be the only person in position to examine the finances. Well, maybe he was uh, cooking the books for one reason or another. That, I'm afraid, would be a question for the magistrate. And, well, who certainly can't ask him. Wait, who does the magistrate work for? Um, yo, I don't actually know the answer to that. Okay, so the liege lord, then. Okay, yeah, fine. let's go with that. We're, we're, we're in Hungary. The magistrate yes. is the guy yeah. who's assigned yeah. to Count Lowell's to make sure he's ruling correctly. Yep. yep. Yeah, which means it's the liege lord is what it is. It, he is he is a count. He has a liege lord above him, and there's probably a prince above that, and then possibly a king if we're lucky, or just a random fighting between princes. Welcome to Transylvania, guys. They don't call it that anymore, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, it, oh, it, by it, the way... Slavis if Transylvania. You, if you might be related to Dracula at all, do not visit his castle. He's put a curse on it. For just his descendants. Hmm. Also, the castle's falling apart. There's not much to see. There's better castles to see in Europe. Indeed. 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 So, um, Tour of the Towns, they have fantastic statues of him. Hey, he they was the Halloween the decoration Halloween champion. champion. That, no, that no, is... no, no, no. That is not Halloween decoration. That is quite literally how to make a Islamic jihadist go, this is fucked up, I don't want to fight anymore. What but is this that's what it is. <laughs> Where's this conversation going? Well, this is this is this is here. what happens when a Pathfinder game gets off the rails. This is the shit that the podcast that is not off the rails. It's supposed to be Transylvania. This means we have to talk about Vlad Tepish. <laughs> all right, all right. We've played for a few, uh, a couple of hours now. I know uh, Lee's got to get to bed, and this is a good time to stop before you guys run off to the cave. I'm not sure if we're running off the cave in the middle of the night. Yeah, you might rest bad. first. That's your call. Although it's not going to be much brighter during the day with the constant cloud cover and usual rain. No, no. Just, you know, go in there in the night at the height of activity for whatever the thing is. You don't do that. So we can stop here if you guys like. Um... I'm okay going for a bit more, if everyone else is. I am too. I'm probably be okay. Alright, let's do it up. I still have beer. I kind of want to punch something, so... Oh, yeah, we need to go punch something. I got level uh, 4 powers to try out. Yeah, so can we rest here? Because I don't feel comfortable resting in a non-religiously protected place. Because of well, this isn't religiously protected. We're a investigative agency. Then why did you have a priestess of Phrasma as your eyes and ears, as it were? She well, wasn't our eyes and ears. She stopped here before she went over to the asylum. All right, well... Granted, we're friendly with the accusers, as we would be. Well, should we stay here, guys, or should we go back to the inn and uh, set watches? Mm. Outside. Out of town. Uh, no, 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 no. You do not do that in some of the places where the shadows stalk you. But, mm. No, you need walls. What are you, afraid? Unless you can build a full palisade in an hour, we are not sleeping outside. Ugh, oh, fine. You can do it in an hour. I'll sleep outside. Full uh, palisade. Uh, I'm casting uh, stupid animals, and uh, the girl from he's he's very scared, very scared. Of he is making, making like, like growling, growling noises growling. to his cat. <laughs> I after I wiggle my I wiggle my arms and then make then growling noises. I don't have casting. 
Nope, Stop. Nope, that... <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you if you were manifesting my will, but really I don't expect it in here. <laughs> and the other two characters, well, one of them would know, the other one won't tell us because we're not close enough. Meow, 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 meow. So while he's growling at us, Cat, I'm going to ask Hex what she thinks that we should do. Since she has quite literally spoken very briefly. It's probably going to take her a little bit of time to acclimate to the group. The bar is probably the best bet. Oh! You just paint Why don't I just go to the inn and just... By a room. Well, that was what the uh, I was asking if you guys wanted to stay here or there. No, we, we can all stay there. You guys, you guys are allowed to, to stay at the end now. Yeah. yeah. I like beds. As I sleep on the floor. <laughs> well, the real question is: Are we going to get a room where we can set watches? Are we going to set watches, or do we think we're safe? Nah. <laughs> I just start walking. I start walking back. <laughs> I'm not the arcane character that you need, but I'm the one you deserve. I, I was gonna say it's like with uh like seemingly there's been no cases of like that insanity dreams. Yeah, but there are also I been can't... people just quite literally being stolen. That I, I think I was... we have. A, I think we have slavers, or we have a sacrifice cult sitting in that cave. That's what I think. Anyway. Well, predatory species, I mean, that's always a possibility. I mean, you gotta feed stuff. Alright. Well, like, like, like I was trying to say, if, if anyone wants, I could freaking do the first run. Like, I could do the freaking uh, first uh, watch. Yeah, we can do watch. But we're, we're gonna do it inside the, the Well, end. you guys are getting a little bit ahead of yourself. We won't make it to the end. We'll be attacked on our way. Oh... Why? It's cultists. So you guys are walking back toward the inn. Yeah. And uh, you come across a odd situation. Give me a moment to populate the map. Populate the map. Matter? Populate the map. Oh boy. What is the lighting like? Because it will matter to more than, than two characters. Now. Actually, it will matter to exactly three out of five characters, because our NPC thing sees in the dark like any yep. outsider. Oh, and we'll sit in the corner masturbating as he feeds on their fear. <laughs> well, so like, well, that's why I have sun rods. I mean, it is, but really, lighting is a problem. Mm. Why, why are we at a cave thing already? Uh, you're not. You're you need. Not, you're not on that map. You need to go to the northeast. But that's where my face is. Yeah, that, yeah, that north northeast. Uh, I'm trying. I just copied you guys, and you have an additional set of. Uh, is it one of these the maps where they try and yes, squeeze a multi map? Go to the northeast on, the, on your map, even though yeah, it doesn't yeah. work. This is not from the map folio, is it? Uh, we're, we're no, it totally is. To the, the black. It is, this, they made people pay uh, for these additional maps? Seriously? Yes. yes. Hey, I found it. I found it. Okay. No, you don't need to move over there. Oh. I copied you over there. You're already over there. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, this is what they made people pay for in the map folio? No, I pulled this I mean, out of the book. Yeah, it's better. The, the map folio is a little bit better of quality. I, this is fuzzy. No, I, I did this way did zoomed this out. Way it zoomed could have been done much better. This is on me, That's not them. Um, well, uh, I'm just saying, you, you have a PDF copy of the map folio. At least I thought you did. I don't think I, I do. Think I... We should probably rectify that tomorrow. Yeah, we can fix that. We can fix that later. Worst case, I, I can throw some money I'm, get I'm, I'm just saying that I didn't realize I was in a 16-bit RPG. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a lot of milkmaids. Sorry, barmaids. Milk. Boobs. Boobs? Pretend that they're not all female. In fact, they're mostly male. I can't see anything except for the beach area. Uh, so, scroll out a little bit, 
and then go up to the top left or top right. Where there are, right, right. Where the there right are a shit ton of barmaids. Got it. Yep. I didn't realize that the strip joint closed down that that hour. <laughs> Uh, I'm specifically walking away from the pack, just to see, you know. Either to the side or up front. or uh, You guys will know the side will never be... Liars, right? So I expect huh? you to be able to run up there and not go, I'm going to run fast and then be in medium armor. <laughs> Look at me, I'm fast! You're not. <laughs> uh, I... I'm gonna need that uh, bar three back. I'm gonna need my bars. So you're actually on the way to the end, but you're passing by the new chapel on the way. And uh, there is a mob outside of this house here. Of course there is. Is it an angry mob? They are pretty angry. Do they have official little torches? No, no not torches. Oh. Then they're not an angry Ter mob. Terrible yeah. mob. They're, they're not the goon squad. <laughs> well, they're uh, shouting for uh, somebody named Lelwyn to come out and face his crimes. <sighs> no constables around. I'm gonna sense motive. I'm gonna smell the air and see if they're bad people. Uh, so you don't see dead people. You smell dead people. Does does the does it feel hostile in the air? Yeah. Although with that sense motive, you get the sense that these people are more scared than angry. Um. What? That we don't have guy. laws here. I mean, honestly, fuck the law. But really. You're just going to call him out, and if not, what? What are you going to do? Bust down his door? They, they, they scared. Like like you, sleeping. I'm not scared of these guys. No, you scared sleeping. But these, he's scared of him. No, they're not scared of him. They're just scared of something. But what do you think he's done? And also, seriously, you're just going to knock down his door if he doesn't come out? Well, he's... He, Listen, you've seen that graffiti all over town. And no, I haven't. I was well, busy. Now that, now that they mention it, you do remember seeing, like, bad charcoal drawings in various places around the city. Is, it a Is he drawing thing? stuff that looks like that fucking city <laughs> that we have a shit ton of pieces of parchment of? No. Is it a, no. a giant penis? He's just drawing charcoal penises everywhere. He's drawing penises everywhere. Uh, right? I mean, I, I, I don't believe they are, no. <laughs> what is he doing? They're really badly drawn. So you're not sure. What What are these drawings that you're claiming that he's been doing everywhere? What are they? It's, it's city vistas, city vistas. And, and well, he's the only well, artist the in only town. Artist that in vandalism town. didn't that start vandalism showing up till he got here, and now the priestess is gone. Some people keep saying about the Briarstone witch is coming for Thrushmore, but I think right, he's right, 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 stop, stop with the fucking witch bullshit. <laughs> She's supposed to be on the Briarstone fucking island. Guess what? She wasn't there when all the supernatural shit happened. There was just some tattery guy that we beat the shit out of. So shut your porridge hole. Is this an intimidating chance? Or and a if I like the answers, check? I'll knock the door down. Is this a diplomacy check or an intimidate check? This is an intimidate check. I'll assist him with that. Feel, everyone feel free to assist. He's probably going to need it. I, I think uh, that you're going to actually be the primary on that, looking more intimidating than I am. Because, yeah. You rolled diplomacy, not intimidating. Yeah, the it's same the thing. same bonus. I'm not yeah. going to go and fish it out every time when I can just tab up. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm also That's an assist. So we have a 16. That's, that's two assists. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> Are you forcing just assist off of mine as the primary? Because this you can't save this. It's not high enough. All right, we might give right. a ten. You guys got enough. It was really close. It only took a ten. It was <laughs> so it was a fifteen guys. actually. Okay. Hi, I'm almost. It's like 
I got guns. Also, you guys were scarier than this artist. Yeah. Thank you, Thank giant. You, giant. Really, I agree. <laughs> he's just taking your houses, but if he's an artist, isn't he just increasing the value? Well, he will happily he invite you inside. And thanks for uh, driving off the mob. Or more to the point, guys, you have to paint over the thing with more plaster whitewash to keep your houses intact. Well, he, he says, he says, well, thank you for thank driving you for them off. I don't know. I certainly couldn't have fought them off on my own. And he gives you a bag with 500 No, no, gold. no, no, no. You're going to talk to us. Let's have a little sit down. No, I'm, I'm happy to talk with you. I'm giving you this as thanks. I'll, yes. I'll take that. Stop tagging houses. You'll get hung for it. I'm not doing that. That Those crude paintings are far below my skill. They're not even the same style. You said 500, right? Yes. Okay. Good, sir. Also, the bag. Show me the bottom of your feet. No, wait, wait. Before we continue, can you show me the bottom of your feet, please? He says, that's a strange request. It's a strange request, but you see, if you've been sleepwalking, Ah. either tell whores in your stockings if you sleep with them, but if not, your feet will be jet black and will be darkened on the bottom for walking around barefoot. You don't walk around barefoot, do you? Uh, he says, very well. It's worth examining in any case. And you, this guy's a half-elf, by the way. Yeah. Uh, he shows so his feet, shows and feet. they are not especially dirty. All right. So. All right. So you're not sleepwalking. There was been sleep problems in the area, so I wanted to check. Thank you for humoring me. Uh, um, give me a perception check. Present. Everybody? Can you do that? Perception. I am Perceptor. Roll to seven. Roll 20 hates me. Alright, well <laughs> everyone will see this because it's a DC 5. Oh, I didn't have to roll. There is a very large large painting that he is apparently working on. It's a triptych, (laughs) if you know what those are. are. Mm -hmm. A triptych is a three-sided painting that can be folded. It's like if you've ever seen a work by Hieronymus Bosch, they're all triptychs. Yeah. Uh, So when did you start this current work? And I would like to roll my artistry. Rolls. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I have it. I have it all. Oh! I pull out the monocle and examine. <laughs> well, you notice something that's very right. interesting. I, he's an I don't hear you because you're currently muted. <laughs> you notice something you very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so it's a triptych. It's, a triptych. it's an. It's on an easel. It's in the middle of his studio. It's right in the middle. He's been working on this for a while, it's, while but it's still in its sketch phase. It's four people in full figure, although their faces are incomplete. And in the background, three different cities flow seamlessly into one another under a yellowish sky. Also, those figures, now that you look around the room, and he takes a second look at you and he gasps. And he says, You, you, You've been in my dreams. I've been in my dreams. I've been. And he starts, he he starts to go get his paints. Stop right there. Okay. These are bad. No. Bad artist. No. Well, okay. okay. Uh, explain what. I've been drawing my dreams. That's what one of this painting is. Yeah, the last guy that we ran across that drawed his dreams exploded in outsider. Rags and we had to kill oh, that thing too. Oh, well, well, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. I've, I've never met you, I've never and met yet you. I, I okay. Feel... So my next question is: Is how are you sure that you weren't sleepwalking? I can't be certain, of course. Groza, you're you're echoing real bad with ice. That's because ice is keeps lo- talking louder and louder as he. It's, it's not just <laughs> that you are often talking over me. Oh. Well. God damn it. 
Can you turn me down a little bit on your end, Ice Pick? Because I can hear me through yours right now. Okay, I can turn you down. Hang on. I didn't change anything. But yeah, I'm not sure who was echo. I just heard double echoes. I'm like, well, that's what the problem is. Is we were getting enough where it was bouncing off the back wall and then forward, and the computers weren't deleting it because there was a delay. Rather than identifying the full sound wave and saying, "Hey, I've heard that. I shouldn't probably send that everywhere." Anyway, anyway I have lowered you a little bit. In any case, uh, he says, well, it's, I've never met you, but in my dreams over the last few nights, I have seen each of you, and I've just been immediately inspired to put brush to canvas. I can't remember all the details, but they gave me the impression that Thrushmore's destiny depends on you. That, that's the impression I got. Okay. All right. No, no, no. I have very bad news for you. You are currently being. Well, what did the seer say? Yes, you're currently being used as a channel by an extra-dimensional location or person. He's Stop been, like, painting it. Like, okay. And since, like, it really, the only solution is is either you stop being in the area of being affected, or you remove your ability to paint stuff. Also, I'm still not after seeing this, confident that you aren't actually the Vandal. Well, lock me up at night if you feel it's necessary. Wait, wait, wait. I have a great question for this. So they're all in charcoal. Where's your fireplace? Uh, this building does not have one, I don't think. He's, this is like a temporary building that he lives in. Just an extra storage for the new chapel. How, how does he keep warm at night? He's got bed, blankets, bed and blankets, like, like but he's people? only here, and he will answer this quite clearly. Yeah, this he's is only here now. to paint a mural inside the new chapel. That's yeah. the only reason he's here. He's not a native. All right, so it's summer right now because if it's not summer and we're in the place where we're supposed to be, he needs a heat source. Uh, the There's no charcoal not... in his yeah. place. Okay. Okay. Wanted to find that out. Yeah. Well, maybe he isn't in the. Uh, if he considers they're primitive, does he know any of the local artists that might have been heard of that might be doing it? Well, you recall you that recall the that, that la guy with the lazy eye said that uh, he didn't know of any. There were no other artists in town. Okay. On a side note, when you, it appears that when you do your uh, delay between when you're trying to look up stuff. That's when it's causing it. I don't know why, but that's when it's going off. It's hard to catch. I'm going to mute from now on if I'm not talking. You could just do what the rest of us do and push to talk. What's that? Push to talk keeps crashing on my computer. There's a I virus. I'm still hunting it down to fix it. Well, you've got your settings really good, Lee. <laughs> No, the thing keeps trying to open up windows to whatever it's trying to infect my computer further with, and button pushes trigger it trying to put them in. I don't understand it either. Apparently it's not marked to even be a virus yet, so I don't know what I found. If it's Russian, I intend to demand a cabinet position. In any case, anything else you want to ask him? Do you go out at night at no. all? I, nobody really nobody goes out at night if they can afford not to. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so since we had access to all those paintings, I assume that we took some of them. I'd like his artistic opinion on this. And I'll pull up one of them that I have. He... Okay. It's an art hmm, showy thing. A little bit. <laughs> well, well, he wasn't an especially talented <laughs> artist, but what really comes out is the feeling here. Like, it's very emotional, despite everything being yellow and bleak, if that makes sense. I suppose to the I right collector the right. it could fetch a pretty decent price, but it's not high art. Yeah, so what are you painting in the chapel? 
What is the mural of the chapel? Let me look it up. Yeah. And is he just painting what he's currently painting there without anybody noticing because nobody's monitoring it? If you can't immediately get it, it's obviously not an important clue. Yeah. <laughs> That's an easy way to tell that you're an adventure path, folks. The DM has to look it up rather than actually just flat out telling you. Let me let me scroll down to the. Uh... What is the? Man, that was just weird. Hmm. Oh, no, I was uh, okay, so the new chapel is the center for Asma's worship in the town. And uh, Lelwyn will happily tell you that he is doing a mural inspired by Phrasma's holy book, depicting the Lady of Graves pronouncing Lady prophecies, Graves judging the dead, and overseeing births like a divine midwife. <laughs> Capturing all of her roles. Divine midwife? What? For Adam yeah. is the goddess of life and death. Yep. Yeah. So, to preserve life, we have to take from the dead. No, you know, strike if they that. can't reverse see it, it their, their religion <laughs> has problems because they are missing the entire circle of life. Um, but does it move us all? It moves us all. Yes, and there's a fantastic song for it. And a musical with the Best fucking uh, online puppetry you have ever seen. I and mean, seriously, l look for it on YouTube. Uh, tested did a video of it. The pup, the, the puppetry in there, and the mat, and the uh, the costuming is actually really impressive. <laughs> it's just a replay, a of the uh, the movie, yeah. But really, the musical is probably a better than the horrible movie. Look, uh, I will say show that royalty is the right thing to do every time. I will say that Lelwyn offers you guys ten gold apiece to complete his painting. Mm. You only have to sit for a little while. Let me put it this way. If you complete this painting, I will break your fingers and then cut them off. You are never to complete this painting. Leave no, it unfinished. I, 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 like, I, like, I like No. That. If I find my face on this thing, I will find you. Dimensions, insanity, nothing will stop me. I'm never to appear here. I try to steal some of his paint. Why are you? Did you suddenly <laughs> take the kleptomaniac drawback? Is that a thing? <laughs> Why did you gain a level of rogue? We have a rogue. No, actually, uh, gunslingers have sleight of hands so they can load their guns without you noticing. But in all seriousness, you just put a bunch of ranks in the sleight of hand last level and now you have to use it, right? I like it's my it's my background. Oh, it's his background thing. No, you don't have to use it like this all the time just to justify it. No, use it appropriately, dude. Is it useful inside of combat? Yeah, take the feats to do it. There's a combat feat to don't don't steal this man's hard earned living. Don't artists starve enough. Well, believe it or not, artists. he just we gave you guys. His paints are probably worth more than fifth level gear for everyone. He in did just room. give you guys five hundred gold in a magic bag. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm gonna spell track the magic bag, even though my spellcraft is garbage. I was gonna say I'm just like I'm just stealing one color of paint so that I don't think that's can't actually do that well. enough. <laughs> Can I stop him if I see it? Uh, you probably won't see it, actually. It's trained, and unless you're trained in perception, you probably won't spot it. Um, but more to the point is, Talon, that's not how we're going to stop him from doing this. We're going to have to catch him actually doing it, then we're going to have we're gonna have to break things. Well, no, if you I, uh... insist that I don't finish the painting, it's still only in the sketch phase. I you haven't don't understand. really got to work on it. You're going to want to finish it every time you go to sleep. I, I hand the magic bag to Vala. I, here's a simple solution. Here's a simple solution. And I pull out a dagger, and I go over yes. where I would be standing, Dallas, and I just put an X in the canvas. Well, since 
since we were doing detect magic for that spellcraft, Al Rockdon could tell you that there is no magic at all in this painting. That's not what the problem is. The, you are, you are. I, I love the role play, but you are overreacting. <laughs> I am overreacting, but for an orc, no, you do not paint me in that place because I'll end up there. That's what happened with the other shit. That's racist, Pat. That's racist. It is. <laughs> but is it racist when a half orc says it? I mean, to be fair, he's actually green. Uh, I mean, yeah, I am actually green. I mean, you you can't get more green. I'm just going to slash the area where my face would have been, take the canvas out, and say, and now it won't be a complete painting, even if you put me there. Just in oh, case hey. it happens uh, in your sleep. Because, dude, seriously, abandon your contract. Run. This place is fucked up. Uh, Look, this is the most natural thing we could find, and I point out at the uh, hunter. Uh, to explain to Riddenauer and any of our other new viewers, we have swapped players. And uh, now we have something that the GCP has never had, a female voice on the cast. <laughs> What's that's a big deal? Nerds and females. I mean, seriously, Vala, you, you need to take control of this before I run it off the rails with my paranoia. I'm very good at this. I've done it as a joke character before, as a distraction. This character is actually paranoid and has reasons to be. I will take over the entire thing if don't do something, please. Please, be the voice of reason in our darkest times. I'm going to go use the restroom. There's a couple other people who could drive, grab the reins back, though. I think I mean, they're laughing too much. I, I am laughing a lot. But, I mean, at the same time, you, we, I, I went Don't let the, the drunk guy be the only role player. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I've been role playing all, all night. I've just said, like, oh. No, I, I don't mean you. Butterfly. You seem more sober than him. Oh, yeah, I only had two. I'm not. I'm not. No, I think I'm... he's most of the way through a six pack. Jeez. In any case, with that said, do you guys have any uh, further questions for Lelwyn? I seem to leave the poor guy alone. He already gave us so much gold. Mm hmm. Which I, I have written on the sheet. Um. Oh, uh, elf man gave me this. D -d -d you take. And I hand you the, uh, it's a Haro deck with, uh, one card that's, like, ununiform. It's magic! magic. None of us have been able to no, it's it. not magic. It's oh, just it's not? Unique. It's just, oh. None of us have been able to identify it. We don't know what it does. Yeah, it's it would a, be it's a knowledge a... planes check, by the way. Oh, actually... I actually have that on this character. Cause I, I got five, you. Five points in planes. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, you somehow sorry, in your that's... travels you've heard of this. Uh, it is a the card is of the traveling merchant card for the hero deck, and it is a strange yellow robed character. Not like the Tatterman or the Cultist, but a guy wearing robes who is carrying several misshapen rubies. And you now know that this is a card that would be recognized and special to a member of the strange race known as the Denizens of Lang from the Plateau of Lang. It is valuable to them, and they would pay you... Five Lang rubies for it. I, I happily hand the card away because I can't eat it. I take it right back. No, I give it. I give it to the one who the only other person who knows what it is. Well, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, the party came to the conclusion that you can fin it. You can stop harassing the half elf artist. <laughs> Please stop harassing the man. Just yeah. talk art with him. Just. Just enjoy a fine cup of wine and a classy top hat. And you wine? enjoy art. You are not gentlemen. 
Good day, sirs. <laughs> and ma'am. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, we have firmly departed the rails. I feel it might uh, be best to call either, the session soon. No, nope, not a bet. Uh, no, we, we can't hear you, I expect. Oh. I, I sure they came something across that I on that split, but we could not hear you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Good. What I was saying was uh, that this session has firmly departed the rails. And it would be good to reset ourselves and continue next week. Yeah, we can well, do that. But before we do that, though, I would like to apologize to both uh, the listeners. Todd. Yes, hi, Todd. We believe in you. Hi, Todd. Um, <laughs> and also the players in the DM is uh, um, I'm, I'm familiar with the horror that we're for, currently facing, and I particularly made a character that can do nothing about it and doesn't understand it and will do the wrong things every time. Oh, that's fine. I'm, I, I, th I think everyone here is okay with that. It's the fact of we, we realize too late that we don't have a party face. We don't have a party face. Do not let the half-orc talk to people. I think Never Ferdinand, let the half-orc talk to people. That is well, a rule. I think Ferdinand has the most charisma. I believe he does. Oh, this is even worse. Yeah, a talking dog, I think, is not going to assuage it. Talking dog has the best charisma in our party. Uh, um, to be honest, social is not going to fix a lot of this. Brute force is going to be necessary it, every time. Yep. We'll, we'll just know how far Well, you we guys have managed to just barely hit the DCs for the social check so far. Every time. <laughs> just I mean, I barely. And I, be, and I do mean just. I, I have bluff, but it's not. Good. It's really it's not a all the horror without understanding it. <laughs> so are we uh, are we calling it for the night then? Or? Yeah, no, we 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 firmly departed the rails, and I want to kind of recenter before we get going further. All right. Also, I'm just uh, I'm just going to make a quick roll. Okay. And um, either way, I'm going to be at 35. But if I make, but if I make the DC, I'm going to have something nice. And I'm at 35. Oh, crafting? Yeah. 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 I, 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 took I took profession on this guy, so I can only do those checks. Oh, once, uh, were, once were, were you trying to lower the cost of your grenades? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I, like, but, you know, I, I, was trying, I was trying it once. Because the DC for that is 2-5. Yeah, I really wish that they would have created specialty crafting rules for alchemy for when you screw up, bad things can happen, or you can make stuff that's unexpected accidentally. And no, the, the, the alchemy, the alchemy rules are awful as it is. Please no. Oh well, no no, they're not. They're not awful. Uh, they're they're, they're absurdly garden. high for average characters. But if you're an alchemist, you quite literally <laughs> say you want it one quarter of the time and cost because I do that. Wait, is it only a quarter for making alchemy items? No, no, only if you're an alchemist. Um, it actually goes it, down to an eighth eventually. Yeah, okay, there's, so I, there's, still, a, like, there's a feat that makes it insane. I think it's either so, master okay. craftsman or master alchemist. Still, it's like, like, still, I was trying to make a silver um, pellet bomb. So, yeah. 35. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, you, you used did, alchemical silver to drop the cost on it. So. At fifth level, uh, you can take, it takes craft alchemy five ranks, but, uh, you receive a plus two bonus on craft alchemy, and you can create mundane alchemical items much more quickly. Uh, when making poisons, you create a number of dose equal to your intelligence modifier at a time. Uh, yeah. It does not increase the time required, nor does it increase the, the gold cost. Yeah, it's for, it, it's for alchemy. It's for breaking the economy. That's what it does. You flood you a city with poison. You, you don't make poison. It's just a bad idea. That's why I make bombs. Yeah, I'm saying that they, for, for explosive stuff, or like, you know, the, the alchemical weapons, there should be, if you fail by a certain amount, consequences. Well, this one would have been a fail by 13. So, ha, fun! <laughs> well, no, it, you can still craft the item, it's just, uh, you have to pay more because you failed Ooh. enough where I think you still, you, you actually screwed up the craft. Oh yeah, I know this one. I no, but I failed by thirteen. Yeah, yeah. no, that's just a you don't make any progress. 
it, yeah. if you were if you were actually messing around with explosive failing by a thirteen, depending on what you started with, you could have started a fire or blown yourself up. Yeah. In well, any case, uh, we are. Welcome to alchemy. Yeah, Jay, you're still echoing, according to everybody. How? It you somehow it's on, it's, it's on your speakers going through. Yeah, I can hear me. I don't know. Anyways, I'm. We're out. gonna have to get you a headset, Jay. I had a headset. It exploded. That's Just one thing. Let's get you a new one. Your Sony's, and it would fix this entire problem. Okay, well, next session, you can have the Sonys. But we're going to call it a session here. I'm getting tired, right, too. We'll see what yeah, hijinks guys. this crew gets into next week. I call it, it's not that I'm getting tired. It's just that you're all leaving, and I have to take the washroom. So, bye. Yeah. Latest. Well, I, to be fair, I, mean, I literally what? did just yawn on stream. So, yes. uh, we're, we're gonna, we I, are going to call it a night play. there and recenter ourselves and Figure out what kind of hijinks this crew gets into next week. We go into a cave. Yep, Team Hold My Beer is rushing in headlong again. Oh boy! Now we have a rogue, so we can, you know, send someone else into Russian first. I just hope that we go and see the mansion before we go into the cave and find out. Hey, that's where we put a bunch of the uh, the the man well, the nobles up at. Uh, you want to go take this stuff to them? Yeah, sure, we will. So we can stealth in. Oh wait, can we stealth anymore? No, uh, probably yeah. not. Yeah, no, we can all stealth. Uh, Hex, can you stealth? No. <laughs> see, see, the fighter always ruins it for the rest of the group. My, my stealth is seven. Now. We'll be fine. I can stealth. Invisibility is only a minus twenty. It doesn't get rid of you walking around. In oh wait, sorry, sorry. That was my, my pet has a my pet has a five stealth. I have a three stealth. No, oh, so you put it together, oh you guys have an God. eight. Yeah. I'm the scout, seriously? No, I, I, my, I'm I, still the scout. I just, I'm a little clanky. I gotta take my armor off if I want to scout. All right. Well, we'll talk about what you guys decided to do next week. We're going to call it a session. It was a good three hours. Yeah, so no, we'll see you guys time. next week. See you next week. Have a good night, everybody.